Hello and welcome back to another episode of STS. As you can tell, there's no Premier League roundup. We're, it's an international break right now. So we're going to do a top 10 video because we know you guys enjoy them in the last two top 10s. They've been really fun. They've been really fun to Whoa. watch. But this time I get to host one, so I'm excited. But before we get into today's video, let me introduce the cast. Next to me, i got my co-host, my vice captain today, Faisal. Yeah. Nice to be here, man. What, did you want to run? You wanted to run on the floor. Sorry, Faisal. Yeah. You ain't hey! doing that shit. Hey! Applause, keep so keep chasing that farewell tour. They don't love you like that. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you was Kobe. <laughs> you thought you was Avelino. They don't love you like that. <laughs> Avelino or that Fuad with red dress. Red dress. Red dress. Opposite us, we got Leas. How you been, Leas? Yeah, yeah, it's been a couple of pinches in the row now. Wow, You're please. clapping more for yourself yeah. than he's been. Yeah. That's <laughs> mental. mental. That's yeah. mad. Yo, Bad, no, 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 four, yeah. I think it's what four episodes in a row. Four in a row, man. I'm Come becoming on, part of the furniture, man. Right honestly, I'm, I'm enjoying I'm it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's getting up them appearance rankings. That's true, and yeah, so nice. are you. Yeah, because yeah, next to him, you've got Abs Busquets. Thank you, it's been a while. Thank you. It has been a while, yeah. yeah. It always feels like it's been a while, but I don't think it has been. Yeah, a while. Yeah, we had a back to back with James Allcott and us for us for as well. So there you go. So the last time we had this combination, it was a Premier League roundup. I think it was one of our longest Premier League roundups. That's where we came back from Barca. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, it was. There's yes, the three yappers on the table. Who love the sounds of their own voice. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, how, how'd you get? I got no idea. Well. <laughs> <laughs> how'd you know it did well then? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, it's us three. Yeah, mm, yeah, come yeah on, that's true, that's true. Like that's a good it. combination to be fair. Yeah. I like this, this is my favorite table. Yeah. Really? Yeah, he it's a good table, man. He says crazy, that every bro. time, <laughs> every time he hosts. Yeah, he says the same <laughs> thing. You're crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't call my bag like that. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Yeah. But listen, listen, let's get into the let's get into this video. It's the top mm. ten. It's the top ten English players since 2000. Because let's be real, other than Fuad, I haven't watched any players since uh, before ni uh, 1995 and 1990s. So I'm not going to include the Bobby Charlton and them, man. Yeah, yeah, some, some people on this table haven't even seen the 2000s. <laughs> 2010s, well, the 2010s, I'm hearing. I'm hearing 2010s. It wasn't necessary. I saw, I saw Abs' list. I saw Harry Winks. I saw oh, yeah. Glenn Johnson. Crazy. I saw, uh, what's his Nathaniel name? Nathaniel Klein. Joe Hart. Yeah. Nathaniel yeah. Klein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I saw Dean Henderson in that one as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This is the like England list. Why the hell is there an American? Why is there an American in the England list? Don't worry about it. It's my new country. Don't worry about it. How about that one? Don't worry about it. It's but listen, the people that got involved in this top 10 is obviously everyone on the table, uh, including Sharky, star player, Renedy, Fuad, Fuizi, Liban, Chunks, and Alfie. Alfinio. No AV. No AV. No, no, no. He's Thank banned God. now. He's banned now. After that last one. Yeah. Jesus. Hey. He had a Western super I mayor. I saw someone, someone's missing from STS. Yeah, I know. Who? I'm trying to, I'm trying to, um, Ilias. I know who it is. Yeah, that is. Ilias. Ilias. Yeah. Ilias. Why, Ilias. why didn't Ilias? He's, he's, Ilias. he's too big time now for us. I tried to ask for his list and he kept making me wait and I was like, you know, oh, he's yeah. big time now. Nah, no, yeah, he's, he's, he's crazy. Been, he's crazy. He's big time. your own guys too, man. Honestly. Really be crazy, one, man. bro. I thought this was like it's a family. But it's mad, bro. That's what you're doing. Snaking the man out like this. Bro, man. I tell you, ever since they start getting season tickets, oh, I can watch every Arsenal game in the Emirates. So I mean, stop forgetting about the man then quickly. Man. Crazy, Elias. Remember where you came from, innit? You, you remember? remember? You don't remember the roots, bro. Honestly. Yeah, exactly, honestly, man. Crazy, bro. That's <laughs> Shout out that snake. Shout out that snake, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the host is enjoying the song. <laughs> he loves Damn, it, right. <laughs> I rarely host. <laughs> but listen, um, there were a lot of players that were submitted to this uh, top 10 list. Ooh, a lot of players. Over 14 players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 14. That sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's not that 14. many, to be 14. honest. 14. I think no, it's one of our least, probably. Least, I think yeah, the yeah. most we've ever had was like 22, 23. I yeah, think it's the other 23 list. Uh, 14, is, 14, is 14 is good. Yeah, 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 14 is good. So then we should all have around the same list. Roughly, I think so. One or two differences. really the readings. One person is going to be different. Because yeah. 14, I'm, I'm quite curious who the four other players no, are. Alfie definitely is looking at like, who were the best FIFA cards. That's yeah, yeah, for sure. Jermaine Defoe is FIFA. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The yeah. The yeah. Best icon and cards. then who yeah. is going to put Jordan Henderson? He's going to put Andy yeah. Carroll in there. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. Heskey, 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 yeah. Heskey. Ledley yeah. King. Michael Owen for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. All, 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 those, all those British Liverpool players are going to be him. Yeah, exactly. But let's get into this list. That's what everyone's waiting for. We're gonna get one with uh, number twelve. There's actually two joints in this one. Okay. There's a joint sixth and a joint third. So I feel like, so I, feel like interesting. I, know, I feel like I know. But coming in at number twelve. Number twelve. Oh. Number twelve. You mean fourteen? No, but there's two. No, there's two joints. There's two joints. Oh, so, so, oh, 14, 13, oh, Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, don't try and do my job. <laughs> <laughs> the maths is not your strong suit, brother. Yeah, that's the captain number. And coming in at number twelve. Only two people had this guy in, but they both had him in that tenth. I, already know. I know who it is because I know I had him in. Michael Carrick. Unbelievable. Wow. But I'm not surprised, honestly. The two people that had him in was Leas and Sharky. Yeah, two. Listen, listen, listen. He's a player player that I rate so highly. And actually, we were having a conversation about this to see. It was like mm. how close I was to put Carrick into my list. And it's 
And it's so tough. He's a player I love so much. United was such a pivotal player from the moments that he came in for us. And it's like the difference between Michael Carrick and Hamid Carrick the team is success almost instantaneously. And such an important player from the style of play. We talk about the register position nowadays. Mm. Before it was even there, we had Michael Carrick. No, 100%, and the play, bro. 100%. I mean, you look at English football, right? Early 2000s, mid 2000s, it was 4 4 2. And you, yeah. everyone had two midfielders that were like all action. Yeah, mm. could do both. It was Vieira and Gilberto Silva, or, yeah. or someone like that. Chelsea, you had like Lampard and someone else. Mm. United as well, you had Keane and Scholes. Keane and Scholes, you and, this, and Carrick is the, the biggest example of why, for me, I always laugh when people used to say, oh, Sir Alex has no tactics or whatever. <laughs> because Sir Alex's team was built around Roy Keane for the longest time, who is like this all action, in your face, tough tackling. Yeah. Like, Midfield rounder, and yeah. the guy that he replaced him with, and basically made the heartbeat of his midfield for the next fifteen years, yeah. is Michael Carrick, who this country continuously, year after year overlooked. after year, overlooked. Whether mm. it was for the national team, which I always believe, right? We talk about this midfield conundrum that they had with Scholes, uh, Lampard, and Gerrard. He was He's the guy that you could have put behind two of them, and all mm. of a sudden you have one of the best midfielders in the world. Simple. You look at United's success, right? Since he came in the three-peat that followed, the Champions League success that followed, and you look at the, the minutes played amongst that team, of course you had Vidic, you had Edwin van der Sar, you had Ronaldo yeah. and Rooney, but yeah. Michael Carrick was almost always in like the top five, top six minutes played of those teams. Was, mm-hmm. he, uh, was he a star um, in, the, in your three-peat season? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, bro. Oh, he, 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 he was one of the highest paid, player, uh, highest played players in, mm. in that three-peat. Yeah. Like he's, that six, seven, yes, eight. Yes, bro. Skulls those days in the late 2000s was coming in and out of the team. Park Ji Sung was a guy that came in and yeah, out of the team. Yeah. Fletcher as well. Owen Hargreaves as well. It was yeah. always, you can go look back at any big game United played in those times, Always next to Michael Carrick. So Lynch, it doesn't really man. surprise me that he's not left in. Like, there's going to be bigger names that are included yeah. in this top 10. Yeah. But in terms of influence to a team's success, Michael Carrick was as influential as almost anybody in that United team. Bro. And just to speak about what he could do on a football pitch as well. We talk about um, the, the DMs of today. Obviously, top players, the likes of Rodri and all these yeah. guys who are brilliant players. Michael Carrick could do that level of controlling the game and time. scanning. Ahead of his time, but, and this is so much before you'd see any of the kind of stuff happening. Passing on both feet. Yeah. The guy would get you an assist. Yeah. Early on in his in, in, in his career, Man United, he'd be popping up with some important goals. I remember goals against Roma. His range of passing, bro, by the way, was on crazy. On both feet, bro. bro it's crazy. nuts, bro. He's such an he underrated player, bro. He made players around him look cleverly at 12-13 season. Rio, 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 will t- Rio will tell you, him coming into the team, I think he even said it on a podcast recently, he made everyone at United's job that much easier, Absolutely. bro. Because you had a guy that the minute you got to him, you didn't have to worry about where it was like are you going to lose it immediately no. he kept it every single time yeah profile sure. like this back then on the right now bro. now is used more like roger 100 bro yeah head of his time i think no, i think busquets really like on the main stage like he's yeah. the, the the first guy that people started looking at like okay the dm doing that kind of role is important but i don't want to say carrick was like him before him but like he was doing that in england yeah three or four years before him yeah, yeah facts. I agree. I and for tottenham facts. as well he was yeah. really yeah. Right I, I, think I spoke to you yesterday about it i think dms in the history of the game is always overlooked mm-hmm. like yeah. brusquets never gets praises mm-hmm. xabi alonso also had mm-hmm. some nice little stretch mm-hmm. carrick now. but especially in england right because england yeah. they love their midfielders we're going to talk about a few later yeah. on they're great players let's not, yeah, not yeah, yeah. say carrick is better now than jared lampard i would no, never no, say that no. but Players in England, in my opinion, are valued a lot more by the general public for their grit, intensity, their passion, application, their intensity, their yeah. power, the yeah. goals they score, the runs yeah. they make. And that's all great stuff. But I feel like in England, more than anything, and you just look at the players are producing now, Bellingham, Rice, you, you don't really have the players like Xavi, Iniesta, Pirlo, Modric that other countries produce. Mm-hmm. So it's a shame that when a player like Michael Carrick came, like was produced in that along. same country, yeah, yeah. It was kind of overlooked. Mm, yeah, mm. yeah. He's definitely one of our most underappreciated players mm. of our generation. Hey, big up, I know Sharky's a big Michael Carrick fan. Yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, loves, yeah. he loves. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually surprised Abs didn't have him. But you know, it's one of those ones. There's so many There's elite great. players. So tough. So tough, tough not to have him in. But unfortunately, sure. he didn't make it into our top 10. Mm. Let's go into our next player. Number 11. Only one person had him in. Ooh. Michael Owen. This, this After was 2000? Tough, right? Yeah, no, I mean, he, he won the Ballon d'Or in 2001. Yeah. And he had some decent years in the 2000s. Like, people forget about Michael Carrick, like uh, Michael Owen, for example. I think he has 150 Premier League goals. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. So, so like, <laughs> and only one person has him in, and that person's on the table. Who is it? Faisal. Hey, yeah. I don't, yeah, Faisal. Look, I don't think that's crazy. Yeah, come on. You put him in at eighth, so he got, like, uh, what was it, Then you points? give us your... your I feel like... Go on, you could. No, because yeah, I feel like with Michael Owen is... You know what Mbappe had in 2018? I agree, I agree. It's what Michael Owen had when he first burst into the scene, that Argentina goal, yeah. and the, became the player he was. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that was before 2000, yeah. but then in, at 2000, he had that incredible scene with Liverpool where they won three, where they won three yeah, cups, I think. 2001, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 2001, where, yeah. They, where they won that like, Mickey Mouse Super Cup, yeah. yeah, but yeah. No, still, no, it's still, no, he won the huge. UEFA Cup, <laughs> FA Cup, and, <laughs> Car- and the Carling Cup. That, we'll that, that, that led to over 30 goals in that season, that led yeah. to the Ballon d'Or. Yeah. The only English player 
since then to have won the Ballon d'Or, bro. And uh, even after that, he had a nice little season, mm -hmm. went to the move to Madrid. Madrid, come on, you can't compete with the likes of yeah. R9. So it was a dumb move on his part. Yeah, Raul, yeah, yeah. Raul, Raul as well. Raul we say dumb move, but when Roman comes come No, I get it, point, I get it. But I think at this point in his career, it was, it was the wrong move. You shouldn't, because yeah. at that time, you should know you're competing with Raul and, and, and R9 yeah. fans. Was that the season you won the Champions League? That no, was season no, after. No. Season after. Season one, after. Okay. Season after. And then after that, injuries. Oh, the injuries. Cons con yeah. Consistent. But I think if we just, bro, Ballon d'Or in the last 20 years, are you telling me I'm not going to put him in the top 10? Are you surprised that you're the only one that had him in? Um, I hear it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. He won it early, early. Yeah. But I can't say I can't put a Ballon d'Or winner yeah, 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 who did what he did with England. Of course. Come on. Yeah, no, no. Michael Owen, honestly, right? The reason I didn't put him in is like, I think his best. And it's crazy to say his best years because this is the ultimate kid wonder, honestly, like boy wonder. Michael Owen won a, uh, a golden boot at 17 years old in crazy. England and he won a Ballon d'Or at 18 years old. Oh, not a Ballon d'Or, sorry, let me say that. He won a gold, his first golden boot at 17 years old. He mm -hmm. won his second golden boot at 18 years old. And this is a time where Alan Shearer was in the league, Andy Cole was in the league, Shearer Andy Sheeringham was in the league, Les Ferdinand was in the league. This guy was 17 years old, 18 years old, winning golden boots over senior strikers senior yeah. players, and then you have 98 the world cup where he just destroyed argentina but yeah. that's like why for me i couldn't put him in because all of his best years bar the ballon d'or well, pre-2000 was, was pre-2000 yeah, yeah, yeah. and yes he definitely had years where he scored 15 goals here or there like he has 150 premier league goals it didn't all come in before 2000 mm -hmm. but i just think there's guys who have more of a body of work post 2000 than michael owen like i just think like before that one. Like body of work, i love it <laughs> that's no, my i love it work. we're waiting for body of work yeah. bingo yeah. whoever got it right is in the there first 10 go. minutes first <laughs> yeah, what take you, a show every time you hear body of work <laughs> <laughs> what you see mbappe now is the people that didn't see back then is, is mark owen but yeah, it's michael it's owen was the mbappe of this that breakthrough was crazy that breakthrough was insane the way people describe like i never got to watch mike obviously he's a phenom bro he's a phenom the speed the speed was was ridiculous and the close control he killed us in the final as well i think it was FA cup final that's the year I think 2001 where like he you guys were winning oh, the whole game 1-0 yeah. and basically two goals and a flash bam, bam, bro bam, bam. but the, the thing with him he's a player right and it's a shame like that kind of player who is so much of his game is based on his speed one injury or in his case it injuries, you. it'll kill you bro. Yeah, 100% uh, bro yeah. I, I, I said it today I thought football's changed I don't, I don't enjoy football I saw your tweet yeah what I've done this international break is I've actually looked at football back in the like I've rewatched tapes of mm. football. In the Welcome place. to my I've, world, man. bro. I feel like that's that 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 that's what made me love to sport, isn't it? What yeah. Made me, made me fall into love. But do you think it's just because the way we tactically analyze the game now? That, there's a reason compared for that. to when we were 10, 12 years old. Uh, watching it, like, I'll, I'll tell you this: I there is definitely the even my dad says it right. Like the, the amount of football we consume, it's we true. see every player's bad moments just as much as their good moments, which we didn't used to before. But and I'm not gonna make this too long, but I always say this thing that football might not be better in terms of quality because in life, everything that evolves naturally gets better. Yeah. There's no way the quality of players or whatever is worse than what, but in terms of entertainment, it's definitely gone down. And I think it's because individualism is looked down upon now. It's way, everything is I way agree. more tactical I today agree. where yeah. everything is almost overthought in terms of like, this player has to go here when the ball goes here. You don't really have Mavericks anymore that can kind of like break out of the system exactly. and create their own stuff. And uh, just to add to that as well, I think it's more data-based now. Yeah, because now back then, as, as you said, it's just entertainment. Yeah. I think players had more freedom back then. 100%, now yeah. it's 100%. more about cool. Your percentage of passing is low. Improve that next time. Yeah. Mm. XG, your distance of running. Why? Why yeah. not? I'll running? tell you this for example. Yeah. Like XG I'll tell you. How, how, you I'll about? tell you something <laughs> for example. You look at the amount of long shots taken in the past, like thirty yards, forty yards out compared to now. Statistically, mm. it's gone down every single year since two thousand ten. And the reason why is it's almost like basketball, right? The three point shot is more valuable mm. than a two-point shot because you can get make more points. But in yeah. football, the further away from goal you are, less the, the less likely uh, of a score. chance that you yeah. are to score. And now why do you think the most scored goal in football Side these the days box. is... is yeah. Cut back, uh, a cut, cut back, back all the way to the end of the box for Sterling to tap cut it back. in because yeah. it's the most of, it's, it's it's the highest xg uh, goal you can get yeah yeah yeah, yeah and true. it's and it, it comes down to you know i feel like the game is improving to a fault almost so it's like they built so many different ways to improve the game yeah. how yeah. do you how do you get better the game make it more likely of a chance for you to score yeah, a goal exact science. that's exactly science, right. so that's yeah. when it goes further like that you lose these heroes of the game the guys who played football with joy with no shackles on them and th that's what makes me to my back to my goal and i actually made i did Back in like nineteen eighty, just to see what they did, bro. Bro, he was a baller, bro. Mm. What we see in Mbappe now, like 2018, 2020 Mbappe, yeah, it was well. him, bro. Yeah, yeah, mad, mad baller, yeah, underrated yeah, baller yeah, as well. Yeah, very, very, very disrespected as he, well. No, he he might be. If we did it since football, 95, he, he, he might have been in the he, He's respected. in the conversation for best football teenager ever. Yeah, like him, oh, yeah. R nine, Mbappe, yeah. Messi, Neymar, like this all Fabregas. that. Fabregas. Fabregas was well 16 years old, but like, no, this is like the, no, the quality yeah. okay, we're talking about. I thought I was going to get laughed at. No, yeah. Fabregas was, like, was 16 bro, years old. His breakthrough was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in the Champions League run until 2006. Insane. 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 
But let's get back to this top 10 at number 10. Mm. So now everyone, okay. So, so I we've only had guys, two plays outside have, the top okay, 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had two plays outside the top 10 because we had like. Well, so there's no yeah. Ludley King from Fuad. Unfortunately. I was, yeah. getting, I was <laughs> banking on Fuad putting Ludley King. You don't King. know? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> unless, unless, unless and, I'm like fast or something. <laughs> and coming in is Ludley King. No, I'm joking. It's not Ludley King. At uh, number 10, it is Alan Shearer. Oh, wow. Yeah. I didn't put him, I didn't put him in my top. Only two people had Joseph him in. No. Abs yep. and Fuizzi were the only two people that had him in. Oh Abs had That's not a good place to be. That's not a good place to be. Abs had him at ninth and uh, Fuizzi had him And now I seven. feel like I'm really annoyed that I didn't put Michael Carrick in there. Because <laughs> like, I just, I just feel like, you know, he's- All time Premier League top he's scorer. He's what I'm saying. The, the goals was just, I looked at the numbers after a while and it's just like, this put like he can't have been someone who was who was, who was mid, bro. No, he, he Alan, can't. Alan and I feel though, like yeah. that is the that is the perception of him a lot because obviously when people compare him to Kane and they'll see Kane is such There's an two different ethereal, type of ethereal footballer. Yeah. Two exactly. Eras that are exactly. exactly. And 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 Alan Shearer, what I felt like whenever you see a legends talk about him nowadays, is like when you when he comes and pulls up to your your stadium mm. and he's come with his team. That's the man of the team, bro. Mm. And that's the person you need to watch out for conti- like consistently, bro. Because he would make a team, and I, I hear him speak about all the time, a winger would get a bollocking if they didn't get that ball into him immediately. Mm. A midfielder, if they kept passing out wide when he was in space, they're going to get a bollocking as well. Mm. So with that is a leader, so someone who's showing, well, some, mm. someone, someone who showed, you know, uh, um, um, when he didn't go to Man United and decided to move to Newcastle, he might look back at that with the regret now because he could have come and won many trophies at Man United. Mm, mm. But what he did there is he built a legacy there. Mm. And he, he was allowed, he was given the foundation to build his own team and, and flourish in a, in a, in a crazy, yeah, crazy way. Bro. If I read you some of Alan Shearer's stats, so this is the reason why I didn't put him in, right? Because again, it goes back to the Michael Owen point. When were his best years? Yeah. Most of yeah, like, okay, before, yeah. he obviously scored a lot of goals in the 2000s, but yeah. his best years was the Blackburn, were in the yeah. 90s, the yeah. Blackburn era, and then making that world, I think it was a world record move at the time, mm, or yeah. Premier League record move yeah. to Newcastle. Yeah. Bro, I'll read you some of his numbers just to, for people who think Alan Shearer was a scrub or whatever. Mm. Uh, 93, 94, 31 goals. 94, ni- this is in the league only. 94, 95, 34 goals. 95, 96, 31 goals. 96, is that three ni- years in a row? 96, 97, 25 goals. Bro, that's that's four years basically right there. Yeah, like the league numbers. Goals. And then the, the season before that, 92, 93, he only played 21 games for Blackburn. He scored 16 league goals. And look at the teams. Bro, <laughs> this is that's not that's a joke. That's you hear this? That? 21, go- 21 games, 16 goals. 16 goals. 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 Bro, some of these, some of these numbers, crazy. 35 yeah. games, 31 goals. 31 games, 25 He's goals. He's scoring every game. He's scoring every game. That's exactly what a striker is expected to do. It's, it's not like how strikers are meant to do now. No, yeah. Link up play. That's, yeah. That's play. That's modern day nine. Modern yeah. day okay. nine. Um, Give me a gunman, Ag. Give me a gunman, That's Harry Kane numbers, and he's got a trophy. Mm. Trivet. Not just any trophy as well. The Premier League trophy. Premier League trophy. But I'm curious to but know. But the thing is, all those numbers I just gave you were before 2000. But mm. I'm curious to know yeah. what he did after, like, because what I heard is mm-hmm. after 2000. Like, what did he have? So if he scored 100 goals before that, brother, he got another 100 yeah, as well. No, he, he, yeah, exactly. goals he, that. he got 260 no, no, goals. Yeah, yeah, he had goals afterwards as well. Yeah, he, oh, he, 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 he Newcastle in the early 2000s he, wasn't he, a bum he, team, bro. Yeah, 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 he, he retired. They were in and around the time. I think he retired in like 2007. I think he retired in 2007. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. He had an injury though. Yeah, yeah. Alan Shearer, that's another thing too. Honestly. Alan Shearer scores more than 260 goals on yeah. injuries, bro. Like yeah. the injuries were basically dragging him down, bro. Yeah, but yeah, him, crazy goal scorer, bro. Honestly, I just, it's the same thing as Owen. It's just, he was way, be- he was way was better in the nineties compared yeah. to the two yeah. thousand. That's a fair yeah. point. That's a yeah. fair point. No, no, no. <laughs> Alan Shearer definitely deserves his flowers. Like you don't become Premier League all time top scorer being a scrub. Yeah. So that's basically what so it is. I'm, Shout I'm, out to Geordies, man. I'm trying mm. to fill in the rest of this list in my mind. Mm. Am I right in saying that Kyle Walker is not on this list then? Yeah. You- Hey. You shall see. You shall see. <laughs> you because shall see. No, but we're not going to talk about him if he's not on this list. That's my nah, old He's definitely on the list. Well, listen, the, next, the, the list. next name on this list is, is actually- it, Is it Kyle Walker? It's Kyle Walker. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, because I didn't have him in my list. I didn't have you him didn't in mine either. List. Did I only send nine players? I sent you 10, no? Yeah, you sent me 10. I'm pretty sure you sent me 10. Hopefully you sent me 10. I, I sent you 10, but if- but Remember, there's there's um joints in the thing. That Remember, I told you there's joints. Oh, there's joints even in the top 10. Yeah, there's joint six and a joint third. So there's 12 players in the top 10. Technically, yeah. okay, that, yeah, that's yeah, why yeah, it's yeah, a bit fair, 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 still fair, got fair, changed. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say, <laughs> yeah, well, Kyle Walker's not in mind yeah, either. Yeah. So, the people that had Kyle Walker in was Faisal, star player, Rinadi, Fuad, and Chunks. Uh, Fuad had him at the highest at eighth. Faisal, you're the only one on the table that had him in. For me, the greatest uh, Premier League right back. right back we've ever seen, the greatest English right back we've ever seen. I think over the past decade, you can mention the likes of even the world. We could, you like um, Danny Alves, Philip Lam. Danny Carvajal, in my opinion, has been underrated over the past 10 years. 
put Kyle. Why? Why? Because you just violate him. It's because one of the other guys remember your violations. Last season, you're killing him. Last last season, you were trash. But bro, at the El Clasico, he just kept screaming at Kyle. You done it? But but as 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 he loves to say, this body of work. Body of work. Look at my body of work. Now the way Lee Van says that is perfect. Danny Kyle House, body of work. Yeah, over the past 10, 15 years, it's incredible, bro. But now Kyle Walker as well. Has he surpassed Gary Neville for you? <laughs> nah, he, he why is Kyrie Neville's very disrespected? You know? I don't know why this laughter comes from. Surpass, it's it's crazy. Uh, facts. I, I think I think let's be real. He's not even surpassed. He's he's stepping on Gary Gary Neville. Right, let's I calm think down. He's stepping on Gary Neville. Do you, do you know who Walker? Gary Neville is by the way? Let's, no, no, let's, let's, let's talk about Hello, hello, hello. I feel like. The last one. Well, let's just go back to Kyle Walker, isn't it? Chill out. Step, step, like, step, step on, on him. He's nuts, bro. Step on him. He's crazy. Feet, so he's, 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 Gary Neville's got more prems than him. He's literally stomping. What the hell? Why is he stomping on Gary Neville? Gary Neville's got more prems than him. He's got more champs than him. Okay, why is Gary Neville on the list then? I'm, no, no, I'm just saying. I'm saying. You I'm can't say he's stomping on him. Gary Neville's not as good a player as Kyle Walker. No. I, I, what I don't like uh, the way we talk about Gary Neville is like this guy was a bum and the yeah. thing is he kind of feeds into it because he talks very low about Self-deprecation himself self-deprecation but very, very yeah. true, Gary very Neville true. You, you don't play it for United who are winning the league basically every single year and you're like one of the starters in that team for what 15 years and you're a scrub you can't be a scrub you can't be a scrub he was a great he was a, good, a good well. player sometimes even a great but he's Kyle Walker like you're correctly saying Bro, he's, he's not a fire of attackers still. Years, yeah, yeah, the guy's yeah. unbelievable. He yeah, shut down. Still. Think of the best attackers in the world. He shut everyone. Shut down. Shut down consistently. And before, before on to speak about uh, Kyle Walker, just very quickly on that Gary Neville point. I would <laughs> honestly, 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 honestly have one more English right back above him before I, I say Gary Neville. Maybe like, as well too. Trent, there's, there's a generational uh, trends one. Trends above him. But anyway, the point. Not Reece James. Huh? Your guy. I might as well slap him in as well. <laughs> what are we doing, are we doing here? Here at Trippier, <laughs> he's a league winner. He's a novel But anyway, about Kyle Walker. This is very disrespectful, you know. Who else? Ben, uh, ben Johnson. Chill out, no, no, chill out. Johnson, he likes to see you play for Chelsea. Nah, the, point oh, yeah, is, yeah, the, the point is about Kyle Walker. I think his stretch on the city, in my opinion, is overlooked a lot. I feel like that last season under that treble season, uh, that treble season, incredible. Even the season before that as well. People, the thing is with City's back line, it always changes. Laporte he had this nice little stretch. At one time it was Otamendi that was there. The Michaelis was company, there. Yeah. Company was there. Kai Walker's always been that consistent. Yeah, he's ever present. Since he came in the city. Under different years. managers, whatever that was. No, um, no, it's only uh, one manager. Pep's the only one that signed I swear, him. I swear the sign of the No, no, Pep, he, he was one of, he, he was, I think Check he was, him, before that. no, no, it was Pep. 17, 18 is when cool. he signed Kyle him. Walker. Yeah. No, no, no. Under every single no. manager, he's a mainstay. No, but, uh, go, yes, let, him, let him land, let him land, let him land. Go ahead. Uh, yes, on the Pochettino as well. Actually, no, he didn't. Didn't Pochettino get rid of him with trivia? No, it's Towards the end. No, they were there together, but. Did not come out the first team? No, no, no. Trivia. Walker was at Spurs from like 2009 sure. or 2010. Because yeah. he came what from Sheffield United. I didn't meant on the city specifically. Yeah, true, true. International managers. Nah, well, nah, you, you got caught. Like, like, you know, cool. I was going to let you, gonna let you yeah, land. Don't try, don't try and vindicate it. You got grabbed. You got grabbed. But Pochettino was very good at Spurs. Very good. Do you remember him and Danny Rose at Spurs? Him and Danny Rose, that partnership. Come on, bro. I met on the different managers. But I feel like, this is crazy to say, I feel like his best form it's coming now. Yeah. Oh. Mm. I feel like his best Kyle, Kyle Walker's Walker. best form is I coming now. Because I, I feel like his last that crystal two ball years, down, man. Huh? Put that crystal ball down, man. That bro's declining now, bro. Can I can I just say what I want to say? Oh, sorry. Yeah, he's, trying see, he's, he's trying to get his TikTok. He's trying to get his TikTok. Can I just say what I want to say? I feel like his best form is coming now. I feel like his best years. I feel like this season has been incredible. I think beside that little mistake he had earlier uh, season, uh, he made was it Burnley? Uh, oh, he was Sheffield, Sheffield then he vindicated it. But he made it. But he made it back after after the first yeah. season. I thought that last season, absolute dark. Mm. That's real love to say. Bro, dark. last season was a dark season. Dark. But I think deserved top yeah. ten is one hundred percent deserved. I, I, yeah. England best. Right back we've ever seen. I, I have to, to, well, first of all, you don't know who any right backs before Gary Neville. So there could have been somebody before Gary Neville that was like oh a man, superstar. Res- you just wouldn't. The man, but, man. but Stuart Pierce, what's his name? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lee Dixon and them, man. Come on, man. Do we, um, know, do we know them, though? <laughs> Shout out Lee Dixon, bro. He's a Premier League winner. He's a Premier League winner. Anyways. Do you know Lee Dixon? No, no, no. He said. Do you know Lee Dixon? Stuart Pierce. Of course I know Stuart Pierce. What they used to call him, like Mad Man or something like that. Psycho. That's what they used to call him. Yeah, you know, Stuart Pierce was born on King's Road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, bro. Right, like, um, what was I was going to say, Kyle Walker, I disagree with you that it's his best year this year. 
I have to say that because I think, and this also goes to how underplayed no, no, he's I kind said of been. Uh, the last two yeah, years. Yeah, no, I disagree to be honest. I think a few years ago, especially because I, I think athletically, he's still a freak athletically, but a few years ago, he was like in the shape of his life, yeah. bro. Yeah. The, the guy's recovery pace was crazy, but this is where I also think like winning teams, especially Champions League winning teams, you, you look at them with more roast into tape. Like, let's not forget last year, there were times where Pep was playing Akanji at right back with Ake at left back because Walker was missing a lot of time through injury or even sometimes his form. I think Walker a few years ago, was playing at such a level that like he's probably the best right back in the world but because City weren't going as far in the Champions League as this year it's overlooked can I just add to that I think before you looked at it we looked at it as pace I feel like before his pace was incredible yeah the quickest player but now I feel like he's got more IQ than what he had before yeah. now Maybe, his understanding yeah. of the game now he doesn't need the pace to, to he's to already in the right positions yeah, 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 now yeah. he knows where to be bro his link up now Mm -hmm. Oh, he's doing. I, I, I saw him in the midfield for certain. He times plays inverted a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He'll, he'll, like he'll almost drop into a back three sometimes. He's much yeah. more complete. Understands the game yeah. much more. That's what I meant in terms yeah, of. I'll when you're with Pep for that long, you better start of picking course. something up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just think you invert I, yourself one way or another. Man. I just think saying, a few years ago, bro, especially the first year. Remember when it was like Ben Mendy on the left and then Kyle Walker yeah. on the right, and they were just bombing forward. Like Walker is crazy, man. Honestly, and I think I think he deserves to be in that top ten. Yeah, he was he was really close to making it for me as well. I was close in pool. I can't lie. He's he's not on the list. And can I just say his name? I was very, he was part of my, because I only had 12 players. He was 11th. He was just about to reach, I was between him and Michael Owen. John Stones. Mm. John Stones John was Stones. 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 Nah, <laughs> John Stones. John Stones. John Stones. 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 Stones was so, so, so close in getting to my top 10. But that's a good point. No, a brilliant like, player, but you look at yeah, the, the games soon. that he's played every single season, it's like 25, 24. Like, it, for me, it's not enough longevity, really, in terms of that. He's but, a great player. But listen, uh, Liz, I want to ask you a question, actually. Go ahead. TT, off the left, on his day, against Kyle Walker. Does he have him? <laughs> And my and my best in my prime <laughs> all day. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, let's go up to eighth place. <laughs> eighth place is aye, 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 kills me in my best and my prime yeah. all day. <laughs> okay. Eighth place, two people don't have him in, so everyone else have had him in except for two people. And Abs is one of those two people. Is that it? It's Raheem Sterling. It rise, isn't it? Yeah. I spoke about Sterling last time. Raz yeah. is not in your, no, in your not, list. Man. No. Why? Did I overlook him a little bit potentially? Uh, just when the names that I came to mind from our post 2000, now that I mentioned it, like looking at um, uh, Leas's his, his, his whole thing, and this is something I've said about SDS a lot. I feel like Raheem is so favoured on this podcast. I'll be mm. so honest, bro. I genuinely, I believe that, bro. Like his accolades and what he's done is obviously he's a legend of the game, no doubt. One of City's all time top goal scorers. Mr. England, one of the best all time goal, top goal scorers. Yeah, yeah. And, and as you said, he's most to the top assisters as well. But for me, I just I just look at Raheem Sterling and I don't I don't think he's better than any of the names that I, that, that I have on my list. But that's I fair. Like, I, I always respect people who say that. To be honest, yeah. So with you. that's the only reason why. Like I thought about. Raz. So do you think he's slightly overrated on the podcast? I think there's a I think there's a bit of a Northwest London bias on Where's this podcast. Where's my bias? With him? No, no, you don't have a bias. No. <laughs> yeah. And that's why when I when I hear you, I hear yeah, you yeah. out. But it's just for me, I'm not moved by him. I'm genuinely not. But I think that's fair. Honestly. And uh, he's, he's, listen, he's an important player. And like you said, when, for that system that he was playing in, so so pivotal, so vital, scored important goals. But I look at him now. He's even for the for the play that he's at Chelsea he had a good game against City, but. He's been a player that I looked at and like seen like he's a bit of a shell of himself at Chelsea. If I'm if I'm being honest, although he doesn't have much competition. Mm. Uh, in, let me let position. me say this about Sterling. I'm not going to go into what I said last time. I'm sure you're going to big him up anyways. But your logic for why you don't have Sterling on this list, I actually mm. respect it because mm. one thing that kind of annoys me the way we talk about football these days and like I was seeing a lot of the conversation like it, it sometimes it's too much GA and like in terms of if a player has high GA. It's like you have to rate him. Like yeah. sometimes it, it's a case of like, don't, don't yeah. yeah. Sometimes football is about feeling as well too. Mm. If you watch a player and he doesn't move you, I think it's perfectly acceptable to say that no matter what his stats are. Like Bowen is putting up 15 goal seasons now. Like it's going to be like, <laughs> I think three in a row now. Yeah. Yeah. Is it a crime not to say all of a sudden Jared Bowen is not like one of my favorite right wingers. He's not for me one of the best right wingers in the world. Now, mm. I, I, do I agree with you about Sterling? Yeah. No, but yeah. I don't think like people should be looked down upon for thinking like that. But there's no. some players that just kind of surpass that. that as in like you, you, you can't, but, not help yourself like just looking at the eye test no, and, 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 and a name like that in my, like comes like from a, like a Salah. Salah. That's exactly. the first name it's that comes like up. Salah. But the thing, the difference for that would be is that I've seen different elements of Salah that I've seen the development of a player in. Like I see him go now into his more, his assist bag and go into a passing. He can show me different things on a football pitch. It's early and, football days. Yeah. And, uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I see maybe a different level of maturity and leadership and all this kind of stuff that then 
it does become too much to ignore. And also, if we're talking comparing them numbers, Salah's Sal- right. uh, yeah, 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 Sal- yeah, Sal- yeah, Sal- Sal- a different name. knock That's as well. That's not to say, by the way, numbers don't matter, right? No, no, Especially of course for not. Especially for forwards. Of course I, I would, yeah, of course I, yeah, you have, like, you, you can't, have to take that into yeah, account, for sure. The, the thing is, every player has their own strengths. So yeah. some players, you look at the numbers they put up, that's what puts them in these conversations. There's yeah. some players that their ability to basically take players on and drive the ball up the pitch and stuff like that's what they bring. They're playmaking, that's what they bring. So it's all... Retro, it's all respective to each player, but exactly. my issue is like when okay, the way we have to look at every single player is by goals and assists. No, no, that's, that's no, no, yeah. No, no, no. I think no. I think you made a good point because because uh, you said the perception is always underrated about 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 Raz. Mm. I think you made a good point. I think there is a bit more, a bit of overrated standpoint on it. Yeah, in man, my I opinion, because because you can say what you say, I, I'm not gonna say because because you, yeah, yeah. you basically summarized it in, in the last video. Yeah, about about his achievements, his, his his goals and everything, but there is a bit more. Uh, that little bias in, in it. Yeah, listen, this it. I, I, I hear it. I understand where where yeah, NW well, Wembley's finest. The boy from Brent. The boy from Brent. I do. I do hear it. And you know what I'm saying there will be bias involved. No problem. But like even even if I look at the kind of player that that, that Raz is, I feel like he's someone who does try and break down in defense. He tries to take on a player all the time, mm. which is. It's necessary on a football pitch. That's not like, even if I'm not saying it's the best to look at all the time, you do need someone who's going to continuously try and give yeah, a, yeah. a fullback a problem. His, his, so I do move to it. Because if he's brilliant and he's yeah, yeah. smelling where a goal is going to be, knowing yeah. where to be he has in the right position, he has a good very, very good yeah, sense yeah. of where the goal is coming from. Because if you're deeper, yeah, it's, uh, Raheem, uh, okay, I've, it's a bit weird for me to say now this. Now you're slating him when he's in your team. How high did you have him in your team, by the way? I had a fifth. Seventh. Uh, seven. Oh, you and Chunks, you and Chunks, yeah, him, him and Chunks had him the highest at seven. Well, what did Chunks yeah. have him? Seven first. Yeah, 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 crazy, yeah, crazy. Boy from Brent. Of course he did. <laughs> I mean, like cool guy, Chunks guy had him there. <laughs> 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 guy from Greenford. <laughs> for me, for me, Raz would be eight, nine. But the reason why I put him seventh is because the last, the last international. Um, oh, that that swayed you a little bit as well. Yeah, the last international tr- um, thing, um, competition Run. for England, yeah, yeah, yeah. 2021, the Euros, 2018. It was mainly him. Bro, the guy is crazy. That's actually a good point, right? When you talk about this is an England list, right? He has the best England resume out of anyone not it's born in And season. he started in 2014. <laughs> yeah, right, and what? Yeah. 2014, he just played. I remember Shark said he's, this is his sixth international tournament he's it going was, into yeah, now. Yeah, it's it's nice. His longevity is crazy. Still. I think he makes his... And I mean, I hope he makes his... And 2014, years. he was a little kid from Liverpool, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not from Liverpool, but he was playing yeah, yeah, for yeah, Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's not a scouser, lads. Not quite a scouser. No, I'm Lee Bell Lexham, by the way. You used to play for QPR. That's what This is what I'm saying, bro. We're uncovering the SDS bias around what he's telling here. What's star player's bias? Star player. He's not... He's not named Hazard. That's why. I can't lie, man. Hey. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, all right. Let's calm down here no, now. No, let's see this PG. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but, but City. No, no, no. About City, yeah. Because when he left, yeah, you know how City won uh, the Champions League. Yeah. No, I don't. Like I just. That I, no, I just remember. I just remembered something. I just. Well, I just. just it just came to my head, innit? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's what it just landed here. That's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's what's a bit weird for me now because I've got him seventh, and I did. I said what, everything about it. Mm. I just remember two moments of of Raheem. Leon. Um, Leon, oh my god! Leon and the season before that, no, oh, against guys, Spurs, where he, had the hat, where he should no, have no, scored a hat trick in the Champions League. Should have yeah. scored a hat trick and uh, and uh, one more, the Monaco. Monaco you, though wasn't really, bro. Monaco was a group effort, bro. What on, the, can you remember any bad more? I think Monaco. I think he scored against mm, so yeah. uncomfortable <laughs> conversations. I'm hearing back to back to back. It was like a six five average. I could go something like that. The defense was the problem as well, you know. Aguero to Aguero every single game. Hey, Falcao. What I will say, Sterling eighteen nineteen has one of the best individual seasons probably out of all these guys to be honest. Sterling in eighteen nineteen had crazy numbers. Was that the one where he's getting last minute goals against Bournemouth? That was seven. That was seven. That was seventeen eighteen. But eighteen nineteen. He's, he went crazy. Bro. You know that 17-18 that goes against Southampton last, yeah. uh, last minute yeah. uh, outside the box. Yeah, yeah. yeah. incredible. Right? And bro, honestly, <laughs> that season, that season, no. on the All or Nothing documentary. That season, remember. that's yeah. where like we came second, but we came like nineteen points behind uh, City, and like that even could, though that came second, that helped me. Joseph's best man. achievement. That's huh? me nonsense, by the way. You Joseph's best achievement. But anyways, like, like, that season what? they He's were so much. Merchant. They were so much better than us, right? But like there was still something that like every time they played, I was like, oh maybe if they lose this game, let's watch them. Let's watch them eagerly. They went like three weeks in a row. They were like tied one one at the last minute. No, no, and this man. this guy scored in the last minute like three times in a row, bro. Yeah, 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 I was yeah, like, bro. nice, we're we're done, bro. And I shot a rise, and I think you got a red card in that Bournemouth after you celebrated that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That oh, ugly yes. goal. Oh my! Yeah. Oh yes, I remember that. Yeah. Oh, it was so funny calling, as well. That's the thing with Sterling too, right? The reason why a lot of people don't like him as well too is like he's not very easy on the eye. In terms That's of why it is. Game, right? Like a lot of his goals are like like I said, it's like easy efficiency chances. Where it's great movement, it's a great goal for a goal scorer, but like. 
they don't really get you off your feet. Yeah. Like he's not someone like Hazard who like when he dribbles, like he wows you, yeah. but his effectiveness is crazy. Now the goal awesome. against Man City, that's prime Raheem Stunning. But that's what I blame, but, but that's why I blame City though. And I blame Arsenal, I'm not doing I blame who Chelsea. Who do you blame? <laughs> you blame, you blame, you blame <laughs> I blame all of them. That's why I blame Chelsea last season because they expected him to be the Hazard yeah. and that's never that's ever been his bag. They never put the proper pieces around him at that point as well. They thought he could be, do that, bro, you're inside the box. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, put, like, like, just put, put your sense. What are you doing out here, bro? Get in the post, man. Get in the post. Man. No, but just as a last point on Raheem, though, it. listen. Although I have said, said what I said, I think that he's someone who throughout his whole career we have been seeing him just completely slated outside of football unfairly, and I yeah. unfairly for such a long time and I feel like someone to deal with that like yeah. I even saw him do you remember an interview where he had something in his eye like and, and the guy, oh the, and the guy tried to take it out right but even if I saw so, see him in that interview well you come off one of the best games in the Premier League and that guy's just answering just a stone cold just quick yeah, like, yeah. And, and it's not just from media training it's from the fact that this, this is the same media that lambasted him for basically his whole career yeah. mm-hmm. and has been for so long and like we That's say true. Mr. England yeah, for true. how many tournaments as as Leah yeah, and Jacques yeah, yeah. mentioning in the previous episode how many times has he been Mr. England mm. and was constantly berated by the English media I will constantly nev- I will never forget he bought a car to his mum. Oh, oh yeah, that, I remember that. And yeah. Daily Mail they said, got onto him. Daily Mail got onto How him to buy. Dare you <laughs> <get> <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was it was a media witch hunt, honestly. It was horrible, yeah, and, and, and just as a point on that, it's like you know, throughout having to deal with all this kind of stuff and still being someone who, like you say, had these seasons where he's being such an important role. He might not be my favorite player of all time, you but to deal with him, that, bro, that is him. such high. Yeah, no, fair play, fair play. Sterling deserves all the credit, and that's why that's the reason he got in the top ten. To be fair, yeah, man, deserves it. Does his flowers, and like you said. Our most one, one of the most underrated players in the last five years, green, definitely. Yeah. Shout out Raz. So Sterling had 23 points. The next person has 29 points. We're coming in at seventh jump. place. Let's see how many people didn't have him in. Two people didn't have him in. Once again, uh, Sharky and Renity are the two culprits. I feel like person. these guys, everyone's like, the, well, we, from seventh up, I feel like all these guys should be like, they still should still be. Well, should be. Why are we still well, arguing about? This player is Ashley Cole. They didn't have Ashley Cole in the league. Oh, I hear team. it. Do you know I hear it? No, well, it's I don't two Arsenal it. fans. Oh my god! Oh man, that's Ashley Cole, crazy. Man. It's it's Cash. I think I actually put Cole seventh he in my list. Us. Now that I'm thinking, he might have. He was eighth or seventh. You actually had him at eighth. Yeah. yeah. No, I, hey, if, if anything, it goes seventh, eighth, uh, ninth, uh, ninth, tenth. Fair enough. <laughs> so nah, that, Cole, yeah. Cole had to be in this list, yeah. to be honest with you. Oh, how how oh, many gosh. players in, have England produced? And I know it's respective for each position, but how many players have England produced where you could probably comfortably say at one point in the, or for he was the best years, player in this position? He was the best player football. in the world in yeah. his <laughs> position. It's true. It's not true. not many, bro. Yeah, yeah you're right. Not after, many. Because after Carlos dried down, yeah. before Marcelo had his time to yeah, come, yeah. Ashley best. Cole was Ashley Cole. That his last year was Chelsea in his early, sorry, his last years of Arsenal, his early Chelsea days. He was, he was incredible. Bro, he, he, he was, in terms of lockdown defending, I know you look at like the, what, how football has kind of evolved and how fullbacks play in yeah. today's game. You don't see guys like that anymore. Like there, there's fullbacks now whose main role on, in the team is to play maker, to, yeah, yeah. to, to, to be a be playmaker for their yeah, team. Yeah, they're, 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 yeah. Trent, for example, is, is Liverpool's primary chance, uh, primary chance creator from right, right back. back. Yeah. Reece so, James as well. Uh, Reece James as well too. So it's, it's, it's different. But Ashley Cole was the definition of lockdown, right? I'm a United, I'm a United fan. Yeah, battles of Ronaldo. I, I watched United yeah. at their best versus Chelsea at their best. And at this point, I think they were the two best teams in the world. Yeah, those battles between Ronaldo and Cole, and I don't want to say that Cole got him every time because Ronaldo, Ronaldo got him too, bro. Let's bro. be real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, bro, yeah. The, early doors the, split. I think Ronaldo will tell you himself that's the the toughest defender, like the I toughest assignment. It. It's the toughest assignment he ever had, bro. Yeah, he, he did it. say that. Yeah, I think yeah, he, he said he came. He came out interview and asked him who's the toughest opponent you faced. I wouldn't be surprised though. He's one of those. Jordi Alba, man. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't play on the same side as Jordi Alba. Yeah, 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 yeah. This guy's a casual. Yeah, 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 no, my bad, man. <laughs> my bad, guys. Nah, but bro, up, the battle... That's the last time I'm hosting for a while, man. Jordi Alba, so bro. So bro. So because I just thought left by left by, I realized he wasn't playing on the right. Yeah, yeah. But bro, it was an honest mistake. Yeah, you got me! <laughs> <laughs> but now, nah, Ashley Cole is one of those guys who just... He... He uh, prides himself on defending, yes. bro. Yes. Lockdown. What a player, man. And uh, I think I think I've seen John O'Brien Mikel recently was talking and was talking about how the difference between obviously Messi and, and, and Ronaldo, the Chelsea dressing would be able to just say to Ashley Cole, "There's your assignment. You, yeah, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. what you have Lock to do. Down, yeah, yeah. Lock him down, and that's what you do. Because mm. you, you nullify Ronaldo, you're gonna have a good chance yeah, of winning yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna have a very, very high, highly like chance yeah. of winning. He was definitely unrated going forward as well, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good. I think a lot of people don't look at his forward play. He doesn't have the numbers. Like that's why. You look at every fullback back then they don't have the numbers of today yeah. bar Leighton Baines who like yeah. took set pieces yeah he's the only yeah. one because yeah. he took yeah. set pieces yeah. 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 unfortunately Leighton Baines is not on this list yeah. Yeah. <laughs> player by the way yeah, you're right, I might you're tweet right. about him soon <laughs> I, I feel like you're right he joins the pool of players Leigh
Yeah, I think you're right. Going forward, I think it's underrated. I think now people say Reese James is the most complete, um, complete right back. I think Ashley Cole, bro. As back then, you know how in NBA you have that word two way. Two-way yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Kawhi. Honestly, it was Kawhi. Kawhi. Yeah, yeah. He, was, he was Kawhi going Locked forward down, and, and defending, bro. Uh, no, you know who he was? He was um, oh man, this is gonna be the guy who played for the he played for uh, Memphis for a while. Who am I missing? First oh, team, oh, all of us. Uh, What's his name? Oh my god. Oh, Desmond Bain? Bain? Huh? No, 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 no. Desmond Bain, no, bro. No, no. no. Uh, to, uh, to, Tony. Uh, no, no. Uh, not Tony. Tony Adams. Tony Adams, right? No, no that's uh, Arsenal awesome defender. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, he captained us to a Premier League. He played for the, the Memphis team of Gasol and um, um, Zach Randolph. What's uh, his name? Martin bro? Keon. It's Tony something. Mike Keon is crazy, bro. <laughs> Memphis Grizzlies. Tony Parker. <laughs> Tony, <laughs> Tony Parker <laughs> signed Tony Spurs. I'm gonna be mad if I don't. Yeah, if yeah, I'm upset already, fam. Um, Here we go. We're gonna take a little. Yeah, <laughs> guys, um, uh, while, so about Ashley Cole. While, they, while they're waiting for this to talk about this area, let's talk actually talk about Ashley Cole. <laughs> Great footballer, by the way. And this podcast is a football podcast. <laughs> I know it's SDS. It should be called SDF right now because what the hell are they doing talking about basketball? <laughs> and they're really looking for this. They're actually player. looking for this moment. <laughs> Have you oh, Tony him? Allen, that's who it is. Tony, Tony Allen. Allen. Yeah. Yeah. Tony bro, Allen. I, his name just escaped my mind. But that's who he was, bro. Tony, literally, first Tony, team first all defense. All team defense. <laughs> well, that, he was literally Tony Allen. But, yeah. uh, but yeah. proper two way. And that's what people think Reese James yeah. is. That was actually cool back then. <laughs> was so Whoa, bad. I disagree. Huh? I disagree. What? Reese James. So much more Reece, no, 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 no. As in the completeness, bro. That, that was, that, no. that was if I tell you, you know who Reese James was? Reese James is Mike on. Reese James is today's version of Mike on. No, I meant. I know what you're talking about, but there, that's I don't like the comparison. I think Juan Bissaka is a better. Ba- I think one one Bissaka is a better comparison than Ashley Cole. I'm not. He said Juan Bissaka is a good comparison. Tr- no, he's closer. Juan Bissaka can't play football, brother. No, but you're missing the. He, I'm not in terms I'm of not lockdown. Talking, hate, I'm not but talking about their, just said they're they similar. The I'm not talking about they're similar. I'm, I'm not talking about the same. I'm talking mm. about the fact that he's complete going forward and think Ashley Cole was that. Before, I, before his time. I don't think Ashley Cole was as complete going forward as Reese James. No chance. No think. chance. Oh God. I don't think he was. What's about prime uh, chance? Jam- Re- was Ashley Cole the prime chance creator of his yeah, of his bro, the, the He team. wasn't, but you're just was, saying he couldn't do no, both. It's, it's not like that time. Both at, at that level, time, bro. at that time, name me a player at that time during the early 2000s who who had the ability to defend a high level and attack at the same time and give you numbers. No one did that. Marcelo did it late towards, but Marcelo wasn't as. Hold on, no. Guy, guy, that's what I meant in terms of completeness. No, I hear that. That point is separate to what you're saying because Reese James is another level. Evra, for example, I'm not comparing the ability. No, but it's like someone saying, oh, this brother's so much like Cristiano Ronaldo because he does a Ronaldo chop. Like, by the way, we're talking about difference between someone who, who's a lockdown defender and contributes to the attack. He's underrated for his own attack. Reese James is the prime chance creator for his team. He's number one. The, the difference about is too much completeness. I'm talking about, we're, we're talking about two, 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 uh, two different apple, things. Uh, apple and thing. We're talking about two, like two <laughs> different two different topics. <laughs> well, like <laughs> two different topics, but you know what to be about. Apple and plums. We're talking about two <laughs> different I hear, topics, I hear you, bro. But it's not. It's My it's point is very different to your point. No, I hear what you're saying, but there could be a better comparison. There's a loss of yeah, translation. Yeah, yeah. Wabasaka, yeah. Okay. No, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> in terms of being like locked down defensively, that's the closest thing in my opinion. Yes. That's all I'm I saying. Like so either, but, just, but I just think that because you hate Wabasaka, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <That's laughs> right, right. just lost in translation, man. That's unfortunate. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you talk a different language to us. What are you saying, Azim? <laughs> four. <laughs> that's true. You did two four. Uh, <laughs> so next, we got a joint sixth. Both of these players have thirty-four points. Mm. Interestingly enough, Faisal doesn't have either of these players in his top 10. Oh, but Faisal, your list is a bit different to the rest of the people. Ah. The first player? I mean, the book's right there. David Beckham. Is the I didn't have Beckham either. You don't have your Beckham either. Yeah, no, I didn't put him either. Second player? Mm-hmm. He appeared on STS. Rio? Yeah. You didn't put Rio on your list? Rio Ferdinand's not on your list. Wow. <laughs> Stop speaking, brother. <laughs> That's nuts. Spit it out. Oh, well, Bex. Uh, Bex. No, Bex. Yeah, okay, okay. Bex, you understand. We already know this Bex, 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 and then and then and then became and then, and, then became, and, then became, and, then beca- and then became that little sen- uh, PR uh, brand sensation as he but, is. That, no, that he did that when he went to Madrid. 
Yeah, I know. We became that brand sensation uh, in terms of football. Let's talk about Rio. I'm not trying to hear so about yeah, Beckham. I'm saying, you. Yo, yeah, I don't want to hear that Dave Beckham. You did have Rio in the list. I did, of course. Oh, I thought you said no, he, he didn't have David Beckham. Of course I had Oh, he didn't have David Beckham. With Rio, I'll be real. With Rio, my my thought process in picking my list was very simple. I was It was always going to be attack and midfield heavy. I was like, cool. I was going to have one full back on both sides, which is Kyle Walker. This is <laughs> Kyle this was, Walker can't be above Rio. I'm this sorry. This my, I'm this sorry. Is Kyle Walker yeah. been a better English player in the last 20 years? Sorry, the last 23 can years. I, uh, can, can I, I, can, I can, can you land? Process? Can I just go for through? Well, I, it's what I thought my friend. I said one, one full back on the right hand side, one full back on the left hand side, and then one no, centre back. back. What, what is what, what, why, why one centre back? What, what was the bo- what? <laughs> do what? Let's see what you to do. Yeah. Give him a top ten player. That, that, that was my that was my full process. There was no thought process. Just pick the best I players. Just pick the best players, bro. <laughs> You're not building no. a team here, bro. It's a simple instruction. <laughs> this guy's bro. trying to build a, t- a, a ten that can play on field. <laughs> what the hell is it? A back. If you could have eleven, a three three formation. If you could have eleven, you'd put a goalkeeper in there too. Guys, what the hell? Just do it. You're not alone though. You're not alone though. Fuad and Chunks also didn't have Rio Ferdinand then. But but Chunks did message me said after they said shout to Rio though. Can not make a stop ten? Shout shout out. Out. So, but shout out, out is not enough, brother. Shout, shout out, out is not enough, brother. We're not trying to hear a shout out. He said, unfortunately, he couldn't make it in his top yeah. ten. Shout out from Chunks. <laughs> like, is it, uh, nah, man, I'm not hearing that, bro. Yeah. Shout out is not enough. He's got to be in your list, bro. Yeah. I don't think. It's Arsenal in this first one, not putting it like Rio, 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 in my opinion, is one of those guys that has to be in this list. And Stoplet had him at the highest, that fifth. Did he have him over John Terry? He... You're seeing that you're yes, he did. Yeah, that's for me wrong. Nah, that's but not true. Rio, as in uh, Ferdinand higher than John. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, sorry, lower, lower. Okay, lower, yeah, that's good. Okay, that's right. Rio, I feel like th- I always say this, right? I don't think there's a player, and I love Rio. I think Rio was amazing, one yeah. of the best. Like in terms of like also ahead of his time. You look yeah. at how center backs kind of play today, carrying out the back, yeah. playing a high line. He was that before guys like Virgil Van Dijk and yeah, the Rolls Royce before now, these. Now, yeah, were. Saliba, yeah. for example. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I also think that. His uh, legacy and the way he's perceived has actually improved post retirement. Mm. Like the way we talk about Vidic, the way we talk about John Terry, and like their legacies have kind of gone down mm. since they retired. Rios has done the opposite, but I don't think it's gone up or whatever like enough to leave him out of a top ten, bro. This guy, from the time that he burst onto the scene, and he broke the British transfer record twice for a defender. Sorry, world record for a defender twice when he went from West Ham to Leeds and then Leeds to Leeds United. United yeah. Bro, he was the blueprint basically for like athletic, lanky ball playing defenders. Yeah. The guy was brilliant. And you had him at in United, put him next to Vidic. That was basically the best defensive duo for five, six years, bro. Yeah, this league has ever seen. Won all those trophies. Captain United in the Champions League final. Mm. He's got to be in here. I'll be real, yeah. What are you saying? I'll be real. I'll Just put, put your hands up. No, 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 I'm not even putting my hands up. I, I'm, I'm standing on my point. You stand on business. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think he's better than John Terry. And no, I think, he's I, not. I think he's we all not. agree that. I think if we, even if we did it, forget English players for now. I think if we went outside of English players, I don't think, I'll be real. I'll put, once he retires, I've, I'll put Van Dijk. No, but him. hold on. You're trying to do this thing with Liverpool. The question is not Van Dijk. The question <laughs> is Walker. Saying, bro. This guy loves open it. Right 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 if I'm, I know not, wrong, wrong. If I'm no. not wrong, you did say earlier that um, your 11th was because it was actually John Stones. Stones. Oh, Stones. 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 So you, you had John Stones over Van Dijk. Because earlier you said, oh, John Stones was just So John Stones, you have You're putting John Stones over Rio. Uncomfortable. We got our first walk out of this. This guy is crazy. out the building. I want to stay outside as well. Stay outside, man. Go back to America, man. (laughs) There's my preview. (laughs) That is crazy. And you you even have a straight face. And also, the fact that he just kind of went off and said, oh, if we take it to outside of England players. Brother, you were asked a question by Hasim. You lost your damn mind. You were asked a question by Hasim. Top 10 English players. And you're talking about Van Dyke. I'll put John Stones. What the hell are you talking about Van Dyke for? How is Virgil Van Dyke? What are we doing here? What are we doing I will put... In my opinion, Yo, John Stones. Viral, John Stones. Enough. Yeah, 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 you did it. You did it. Fair enough, bro. Nah, congratulations. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Nah, a guy from SDS has never said anything. Yeah, you got it, bro. Yeah, whoever said that was spitting. Because this brother is talking out of his ass cheeks. They're being unfair with you. There's nothing to land. Honestly, I don't want him to land. If I had to make a list, I would have John Stones above. John Stones has been a better player in the last 23 years, an English player, than Rio Ferdinand. Just to be clear. Once he retires, yes. No, once he was talking Sorry, today, this. what are you talking about? Like, I don't understand. You've been asked a direct question. Okay, what's your Top question? 10 players <laughs> since 2000. Top 10 English players. How about The brother three? has said Virgil van Dijk is better than And he said John Stones better than English centre-backs in the last 23 years. Ferdinand is not there for you. My top ten list. My top ten list. One hundred percent. My top ten list. One hundred percent. No, 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 no. That's not the question he asked. He didn't. He didn't answer about. He didn't answer the question. He said, "So that means so that means the top two centre backs in in the last twenty three years for you are English have been John Terry then John Stones." I'll be completely honest. Yes, the Johns. 
<laughs> Rio, Rio is, I oh, don't man, rate Rio as highly as a lot of people. No problem. Do you no know what's problem. funny? No Fuad, uh, when he was WhatsApping me, he said uh, he agrees with you. Think for, for no, I, I get, but Fuad wouldn't I say that John Stones is better than Rio. Yeah, he wouldn't. Yeah. There's not yeah. a chance in hell. Yeah, actually, yeah, he he would, I don't rate. Bro. He says John Stones is too injured. Well, you don't I don't Rio rate now. Rio as highly as people do. Uh, Rio is a great player. He's a great centre back. Why don't you rate him? Huh? I don't rate him as highly as all people do. Clarify, brother. I've got my own reasons. Tell us the reasons, bro. It's a podcast. You're on a podcast, mate. Do you mind? You're the same. You're the same. You're the same for your content. Unbelievable. Very, 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 check him out on Elf Phase, like, you'll no, find no, uh, the, up, like, the conclusion to this. He doesn't like Eddie Howard just because I have my reasons. You Tell us your reasons, bro. Break down, no, yeah. Like break I'm down why really John Stone's better than Rio, bro. He's very, he's very- Rio Ferdinand can't play midfield. Let's let him go. No, 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 listen. He's very error prone. I think- to be fair, so I put whilst, whilst I'll give you bring up his errors, bring up his errors, you know yes. bring up some errors. I'm gonna let you carry on, but I'll be real. I'm gonna stop. I'm like, excuse me, you're waiting for. You're waiting for a noise. I'll carry on, but I think you're on an unfair table right now because obviously you got two hardcore United fans. I don't, bro. Did you not just say right now he had the most conflated career post retirement? He said that the perception of Rio has grown so much more after retirement. We both think that John Terry is better than Rio. I think John Terry is better than Rio. We're not. We're not. Okay, so explain to me, guys. Okay, I gave you. I don't. I don't have Why I believe Rio is better than no, John no, no, Stones. No, I will gladly do that. Not, <laughs> I'll gladly do that. This has got nothing to do with John Stones. I don't have in my list. John St when where did Rio finish? Below uh, John Stones sixth. For you. He joined joined sixth. Where did Rio finish? Where did Rio finish? Joined sixth. All right, now you that tell me why he's six. And that's 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 so how uh, uh, Leah's had him. So Leah's had him sixth actually. Oh, yeah. had him eight. Explain yeah. why he's six to you guys and let's just move on to the next player. Yeah. What, what are we so, doing here? So now, so now we can just go on podcast saying nothing. Hold on, so now we can just go on podcast saying Hold on, we just say nonsense now and we just accept it. What are we doing? Podcast what are we doing? Comes, on a, comes on a podcast, refuses to elaborate. That's, That's crazy. Crazy. What are we doing? We're, we're, we're debating what a point that we think is crazy. The only reason I brought up John Stones is because <laughs> you said earlier. Yes, oh, if I had you said it was between Owen and Stones. Yeah, but Owen's better than Stones. 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 So I was thinking, okay, cool. And then now you're saying Ferdinand wasn't in the now, top 10. Don't, that, so now I never, he must have been 12. But I just want to hear you know reasons. what I mean? That's the only reason I I can't lie. I, I never thought about it. Oh, okay, I, okay. I never thought the way you did, <sighs> but you just gave me the point of who do, who. but now giving me the context that yeah, you just said, yeah, yeah. and who would I have? Sorry. Yes, I'll go back to, I will stand on my point. I don't care. Stand I will on stand it. on my point. Stand I will it. still have John Stones over Rio in the last 20 years. There and that's, it is what it is. That is a clip, guys. That's it is what it is. And that's exactly why you can subscribe to SDS. If you agree, if you disagree, you me don't care. Give us any no, reasons. No, no. He's just I kept don't have anything to disagree with. Now you tell me. No, you no, tell no, me about Rio. Currently, currently, I have nothing to disagree with you because you haven't given me any points. There's no substance I, to your tell point. Tell me about Rio. Right, Rio is eight for me in my list because I think he is not as good of a talent as, as John Terry, but he is quite easily, quite comfortably for England and for Manchester United, the most pivotal player for us in that back. Not most pivotal, but part of the best partnership. Mm. The spine of that team that we talk about, we just talking about Carrick earlier. He's more than games a season too, guys. That's that's that John Stones doesn't. John Stones has not even been a consistent figure in yeah. all of City's seasons, bro. Like he's been great in patches. John Stones, in terms of like ball playing center backs, he's a brilliant footballer. <laughs> Unbelievable. But bro, Half the time, it's not even him. Sometimes Laporte was there. Company was there in the beginning. Otamendi was there. Now, he's had great periods in that team. The Champions yeah. League, uh, <laughs> 2021. World class. Uh, but yeah. Rio was literally a stalwart in the most successful British team of the last 25 years. The captain at times. A world record FIFA defender at times. Who is John Stones to Rio Ferdinand? Let's what be real here. more is there to discuss about this? All right, bro. Listen, you've got your TikTok, man. No, no, no. no. I, on, man. no but, but I, don't, I genuinely feel like he can get away poor, with this. Uh, that's poor. I actually genuinely don't feel yeah. like yeah. that. I mean, he's, he's refusing to celebrate. I can't, I can't get blocked. But we can't make him to. I'm I just saying. I'm just saying. It comes down to personal preference. The hell? Oh, brother. Personal preference. Why can't we do that on a podcast then? We're going to just give our 10. We don't say anything. Why even talk about that? It comes down to personal preference. Let's get to the big rest of it. No one has said anything. The way he tried talking about Van Dyke too, because he knows Liverpool fans would have been like, yeah, Faisal, Faisal is the only smart one on SPS. It comes down to personal preference. British center backs is telling me about Van Dyke. I don't know how Van Dyke's name came up today. I didn't expect it. Hold on, okay, come on, Hasib. I have, I don't talk a little bit about Beckham though, because we never talked about Beckham enough. Yeah. We heard all that talk yeah, about for me. Man. For me, mainly, obviously, where was with Beckham is uh, what he's doing for England. Almost, yeah, yeah, what he's doing for England. But even post, you, you guys, like, yeah, like uh, Faisal mentioned to me before the shoot, he what, the treble was before, was mm. before 2000, where he was incredible and speak about what he was doing for that team in that final with huge members of the team out in scores and, and Keane. And, and the players were saying they'd seen something different from him. Post that, there was the move to Madrid. And then there was moves to Milan and obviously ended up at PSG. Yeah. But what he did during that time, especially for England, so is really United coming to the first few seasons of yeah. the 2000s. Bro. Yeah, exactly. He was one of our best players. Yeah. He, and he was such a, by that time, he'd grown into someone who was such an influential part of the team. Um, 
I, I, I'm not really mad if, if, if someone yeah. doesn't really- It's the same team. thing as Owen and Shira. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I'm had him at highest on the table, you had him at fifth, who is he? Yeah. Yeah. I had him at fourth. You had him at fourth? Yeah. Fourth. 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 <laughs> yeah. So there's only three players out of there. Well, listen, okay. that's, our, that's our joint safe. Let's get into the top five. Let's get into this top five, or the six players in this top five, because there is a joint third oh, yeah. <laughs> in fifth place. <sighs> First time we have, everyone has this person in the list. And of course, top five, everyone has to. Has to, you have to. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's only yeah. one name that should be in my opinion. It should only be one name on what, this. Even first this guy was on. I'm surprised, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Taking it seriously. Uh, the player is John, John Terry. Terry yeah. oh. I thought so. I thought it was John it Terry. It shouldn't have been him. The defender and then I think the midfielders and the reason, to be fair, I had yeah. him fourth, but I think there's wait, a guy wait, wait, that wait, should wait, be wait, Me, you and Leah had for? him at fourth. Wait, 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 wait. Where is he? He's fifth. Well, he's sick kind of because it's a joint third, so there's Oh, five oh, plays above him. Alhamdulillah. There's five plays above him. I yeah. I was, uh, oh, you thought you were missing someone. You thought one of your big boys was like, yeah, no, 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 you're good. Nah. You're good. Okay. No, how, that doesn't even make sense. That's your boys can't miss it. You generally can't miss yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did I have Terry? Uh, six. Seventh. Seventh? Oof. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Terry is. The yeah. lowest, the person that had him the lowest was Fawizi at 10th. Yeah. I, think, I think I had him. Fu had him at the highest. I think I had him, what? At where? Third. Okay. That Me, you and him had him fourth. Yeah, what JT, JT best, yeah, JT best Premier League centre back of all time. Easily, yeah, yeah. easily. Really Again, easy. he's another easy. one. Easy. His reputation has gone down so much since he's retired, and of course, we know there's stuff that we won't yeah, talk yeah. about. Yeah, but I think also like he's part of that era where like defenders. We know how we're talking about football is more tactical now; it's yes. more structured. Defending, in my opinion, today, and this isn't to discredit any defense. Like the defenders today are great, but. It's a lot more structured in terms of you defend as a unit, you, de determine, uh, you defend as a block, you defend, the whole block moves up the pitch. You now have a goalkeeper behind you who sweeps action behind you. Yeah. You have a defensive midfielder who sits in front of you, whereas before you had two box-to-box -box midfielders. Yeah. The chances that a defender is isolated out wide, 1v1 against some tricky winger, and he embarrasses you, is a lot less than it was 10 years ago. Mm, yeah, fact. True. John Terry, Vidic, Puyol, Ramos even, they come from an era where I think it's a lot more one one on one island by yourself. And now John yeah. Terry people will say well, played in a deeper block <coughs> and he was more protected. But John Terry is so underrated in terms of very, technically, very bro. Underrated. Ball at his feet, both right foot and left, left foot. He was paying one pinging. side of the pitch to the other. Mar Mourinho pinging. loved him as well, man. Pinging. So intelligent. He was absolutely so pinging those passes. Unbelievable. You know the biggest underrated like for me, the most underrated trait of his is Forget his actual game itself, which is ex exceptional as it is. Leadership. His leadership. Oh, amazing. You know, you know nowadays, you know, now, now leadership is not getting as much credit than what it should. Now, but we look at Chelsea's team, we look at United's team. Yeah. That's not leaders in your team. Yeah. Mm. You know how much of a leader is so crucial in, in that, especially the back line, because the back line is the most important, because yeah. the, the communication between the back line and the goalkeeper and the back line and the, and the midfielders is so pivotal. Yeah. Bro. yeah. They don't have one. Mm -hmm. JT yeah. did it. Not for one season, not for five, for ten. Fifteen, 15 bro. seasons bro. straight, bro. And, and, and for him to mentally come back from certain um, certain things like the Champions League final. And missing that, penalty, yeah. Yeah. that can mentally break uh, a that player. can destroy someone. Destroy bro. a player. Yeah. He picked himself back up. And then he went again. Obviously, he unfortunately didn't make that the 2012 Champions League yeah. final. Yeah, he was there in his full kit. Yeah, hold on, hold on. He scored a huge goal against Napoli in that run <coughs> to, oh, yeah, to, to, yeah. to, to help yeah, save one, Chelsea because the yeah, yeah, they would have gone out that game. And, and, and he was moving no. to in the run. Yeah, and yeah. the fact and the Barca he, game as well. Barca, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. the Alexis Sanchez. But there was a first leg. Second leg, he didn't cover himself in glory. Unfortunately, the fact that he showed, as Lias was mentioning in the previous stars of football, where was you are on an island of one an attacker, and he showed how unreal he was in there and then comes back when he's you know an older statesman for Jose Mourinho mm. and wins the league that's such playing a 90 minutes for a whole bit he, he played, played every, every, single, he played every, every available minute, minute for the whole Premier League and, 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 that, 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 yeah. and that is after the football had had become it's not even just that the season before oh yeah, Rafa was, Benitez was Rafa Benitez basically shunned him out of the team had David Luiz and Gary Cahill he basically wrote off John Terry on the 23 boy he was put on the 23 and then Jose made one phone call Habibi come back I need you, I need the boys back. And then yeah. he's trying to get happens. the band back together. You got drug boys as well. And then, and, then, and, then, and, then, and then look what happens. And he shows he's such a pivotal, and, and yeah. the leadership role you're talking about is so, so vital. He is the face of Chelsea football. Yeah, Absolutely. He and he's, he's, one, of the great, he's one of the greatest captains that we've had in Premier League. He's he is Chelsea's, uh, he's, Mr. Chelsea. Chelsea's he's Mr. Chelsea. Chelsea's best ever player. He's Mr. Chelsea. Yeah. Frank, Didier, Eden, I think. Eden is amongst that top he's five. My, he's so long, so long. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, bro, he is number one, bro. He is Mr. Chelsea, yeah. He is Mr. Chelsea. And big goals as well, huh? Bro. Big goals. goals, Bayern Munich, Crazy, bro. Barcelona, bro, Barcelona, huge Barcelona, goal. Yeah. Barcelona. With it, like, unbelievable header of the ball too. Like, bro, mm. The guy was just 
unbelievable. So complete. Man. And you, so you look, here's another thing too, right? You look at the, the f- and the, okay, people are going to say, how much does this really matter? But like the fifth pro team of the year is like the, the team of the year at the end of each season when they do the Ballon d'Or or whatever. It's CBS. always him, bro. Yeah. It'll be him or Maldini. It'll yeah. be him or Stem. It'll be him or Pluto. Yeah, he was It'll be him or Rio Fernand. No. But it's always him, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, yeah, yeah, for yeah. real. Always after 2000, people, for, people think it's only PK and Ramos because that went uh, that four or five years stretch. Yeah. PK and Ramos. But before him, that's because international that, and club. Yeah, yeah. Before that, it was JT, bro. Yeah, yeah. JT, yeah. Ballon d'Or, bro. JT, I think there was one um, one famous picture of him, Steven Gerrard, Lampard standing uh, in, the, in the team of the 11 and one more British player as well. It was Might cool. Be oh, Ashley Cole. Yeah, someone like that, bro. Every as, as he mentioned, bro, like I said, for me, easily. I'm very disappointed though. He's six. I put him fourth. Mm. I had him mm. film as well. I feel like yeah. he deserves top five. Yeah. He deserves Kinda top five. Kind of is top five, but he's if it is yeah. four no, five. There's players. one yeah, name yeah, for yeah. me that should be that there's no way he should be above him. And I know we're gonna name uh, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, There's yeah. no way he should be above him. Yeah. John Terry's unbelievable. No, yeah. Best defender in the Premier League in my opinion. Oh my god, that sure. means hold on. Hold yeah, on. no, no. Hold on. There's that means spoiler, don't spoil it. That, no, 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 that, that means that means if if JT is six, yeah. well, that fifth, means yeah. in, in in people's eyes, well, the SDS eyes. Yeah. Eyes, uh, eyes. <laughs> that means they have a better Chelsea player than him. Oh yeah. come on, bro. I know. I put I, I, Oh, yeah. me and okay, you have the same. Me okay, and you have similar okay, lists. Come on, yeah. man. Yeah, I think me and you might have the same list. And coming in, and coming in, at number four, mm. Frank Lampard. No <laughs> way. Hold on. There's a guy above Lampard. Oh no, they've ran. Oh, this is crazy. No. They ruined guy. the list. Nah, there's one guy <laughs> who's crazy. too high, bro. Oh man. Oh, he is, he let's is. talk about Lampard. About anything as well, yeah, but we'll talk yeah. about that guy later. Yeah. So everyone, yeah. all of us on the table, me, you had him at sixth, and you two had him at fifth. Bro, we, I'm telling you, yeah, we have the same list. Yeah, man. yeah we, I think we have the same top six. The yeah. highest was Liban, who had him at. Oh no, Liban and Alfie had both had him at second. No, it's impossible for me. Here's Lampard the thing with me, right? Second. Let me talk about ah. Lampard a little bit. Lampard second. Yeah, Liban Lampard second. Th- yeah, yeah, that's nuts. Lampard. That means he's the greatest midfielder for them. Yep. Nah, yeah, that's, that's horror. That's horror. No, but <laughs> Liban. Okay, actually, no, 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 not necessarily. Yes. Not necessarily. Yes. Liban, I guarantee Liban, you, I, I guarantee you, Liban has uh, Lampard above all two. Because Liban, I know how he works. For him, it's stats above everything. Goodness. And, and this is the thing. Me. Right? Highest me goal scorer. Yeah. For him, English. he just looks at the goals and assists. I think I, I, I know Liban, that's the way he would have looked at it. Here's that's the thing with me with Lampard. I've never been his biggest fan, Frank Lampard, because what I, what I personally value in a midfielder. He d- it doesn't. It's not really his game. I value two kinds of midfielders. You either have like the geniuses, like the, uh-huh. the guys who are possession masters, pass masters, heavy Chavi, passing ball, Pialo. Xavi, Iniesta, Modric, those guys. Or I really like all action midfielders: Gerard, uh, Vieira, yeah. uh, Vidal. I love those kinds of guys. Lampard is not that kind of player, but I have to give insane respect to Lampard because you look at his game. He's not the most technically gifted, right? Scholes was infinitely more te- technical than him, in my opinion, more talented. He's not the more th- most athletic, right? Gerard is a much more athletic player it's just than Frank Lampard. IQ, getting into Lampard's the box on the footballing end IQ so elite, for a midfielder, like let's talk about all time. And I'm mm. even talking about before we even start watching football. Bar Platini, like who had his time in the 80s, Lampard is the best goal scoring midfielder of all time. Mm. Mm. Fact. Yep. Mm. And for a player that, again, doesn't have this insane technique or doesn't have this insane athleticism to put up the numbers he did. Like you're talking about 20 goals a season, 15 goals a season, every single year. This guy sat on a Ballon d'Or podium with Ronaldinho. Yeah. 2005. It was he uh, sat on Gerard, a, him, and. Um, yeah, there was a season the only player deemed better than Frank Lampard was Ronaldinho. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In the world. I'm not a big fan of him, but that's ridiculous. Mm. Insane. Ridiculous. But I, I do feel you, you, you slightly, that's a bit slight disrespect towards his technical uh, ability. I just, just say, like, he's not like, he's not Xavi pure lower score. That's my opinion. He might not be that table of, of touches of and, and finesse, but yeah. come on, bro. He had he had some ability, bro. Of course, I'm not saying, I'm talking about yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, several seasons he finished above Tennessee. The bro, his, his, I think, is what is, is uh, you know, how we said about JT's underrated was, was leadership mm. with, with Lampard. His vision was so oh, damn I mean, underrated. Brother. And, this, and this is something I want to add on to as well. When you do mention that the only pre- the only reason I do disagree with that is that I feel like that element of his game was underrated in the sense that yeah he's not necessarily going to be there picking up the ball from centre backs all parts in the game that wasn't his job but his awareness of when he would be finding mm. himself in those situations I think he played left centre center, central midfield for yeah. Jose in a four three three yeah and he had the ability to yeah. sometimes come and pick up the but ball and it wouldn't necessarily be he's not doing it all the time and he's not the, in, in the ethereal understand like a complete understanding of where that everyone is on the pitch yeah. but that element of him smelling not just smelling where goals are. A bit, like in the final third, just he's to unlock genius. something, yeah, yeah, brother. Yeah, that is where he is just on stands alone. And you know no one else is like him. One hundred percent. And the thing is, his goal category, uh, goal catalog, 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 yeah. bro, 
Do you know my favorite goal of his? Yeah, he's bangers. bangers. Goals. My favorite goal of his. There's not even a bang at the chip boss. Oh, no. 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 For me, the best oh, one. That is outrageous. The, the, I mean, his best goal for me isn't even like an individual goal. It's the one where it's like there's a long ball to, I think it's like, Oh it was, no! It was Drogba who scored actually, but it's like Lampard was had a huge Liverpool? part of it. No, it's like yeah. I think Deco ch- or Lampard chest. Oh yes, I know Deco you're talking about. Back oh, to, to, to yeah, Lampard yeah, chest yeah, yeah. it and then chest Drogba puts it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not his goal. Bro, it's everything: yeah. the chip against Barca, the long shots, the header against United. Mm. Yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Jenny everything had everything in, in this game. Champions League final goal against us in Moscow. Everything. But here's the thing: I agree with everything you guys are saying, but. Again, the reason I don't rate him as highly is like I it's honestly believe, as well. no, it's yeah, but mm. I don't even view him as much of a midfielder as the other two. Like, let's be honest, you're talking about four three on the left. Like, there's times where this guy was basically playing right next to Drogba. Yeah, I, let's be was. absolutely real here, guys. Yeah, and, 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 no, I, I truly believe it. And like, honestly, this is my opinion. I don't think he scores as much any of the goals about Drogba. Drogba sacrificed so much of his output to basically facilitate yeah, for Lampard. They were Lampard, perfect bro. for each other. He, perfect he was for absolutely each other. perfect. For but each that's other. why, like again, what I value in a midfield, I value the other two more than more than. But, 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 but you can't. I, I, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, that's your preference. Yeah, that's why it's my preference. Yeah. Well, midfield is different profiles. You, you can't expect him to do what they do. Yeah, his yeah, profile yeah. is so unique. It's like, so it's like so Jude. Jude. Now, that's what I was going to say, Jude. Now there's people call Jude a striker. He's not a striker. But his yeah. profile is allowing him to become that person, yeah. but he can still do, maybe not to the same quality as La- as, as Scholes and, and, and Gerard. But bro, he can still do it. Bro. But here's the thing. Lampard, uh, Gerard and Scholes could also both play that role that Lampard did. They could, And they did it, Absolutely. right? Scholes yeah. had that period where he was playing as like a yeah. second striker behind Rude. Gerard, Gerard had that one season as well, behind he played directly behind Torres because they had a Mascherano. He had more goals than Torres that season. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. And I think Scholes, in fact, I don't want... Let me get the stat right because I always mess it up. But I think it's like his goals, non-penalty goals non-penalty per 90 goals per game, is yeah. higher than He's both the Lampard and Jordan. So again, this is, again, I'm not trying to discredit Lampard. Lampard. Like, bro, honestly, like his IQ and again, he's not a bum. He's not, for example, Gallagher, for example, in terms of technique, right? He's yeah. a he's oh. fully capable footballer. Mm. Yeah. But again, this is purely my list, purely what I value in a midfielder. There's guys that I prefer above him. Oh, no, absolutely. Like if I were to make an England midfield during that time, I would have played Carrick in the six and I would play Jared in schools ahead of them. Lampard wouldn't have gotten my in my strongest England team. It's funny because the <laughs> midfield of, with his GA and this current climate, he would be yeah, like- Yeah, but I think in terms of balance, balance yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's an balance. interesting one. It's wow, interesting dynamic. Got, you've, got, you've got a couple of previews there for you. Um, I said in- I'm not putting them all out. Uh, well, 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Content, wow. baby. <laughs> <laughs> Choose your favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> Jude is a good comparison to Lampard yeah. in terms of like their eye for goal, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. IQ, yeah. Yeah, you can see uh, Jude replicating like that Lampard numbers, you think? Mm. Bro- Impossible, I don't I, think so. I, I you don't like think so? You ever get to that? No, if he's allowed that role no, uh, throughout think, I, his career. He's not, he's, he's, he's got like 200. Not. Yeah, nah, I, I don't guys think so. Nah, he's, and Lampard took penalties too. I call out with Jude, with Jude is just fortunate Mbappe's not here. Once Mbappe comes, that formation getting changed. We're playing 4 3 3. Once, not when. Once he mm. comes, get that thing not up road, if, bro. <laughs> not if, when. That Lottin is this summer. It's coming home, bro. Yeah. My lover, <laughs> huh? your lover, man. My habibi. <laughs> that is so crazy. He said that too seductively. I, mean, Pause, I hear what Sharky's saying. This combination doesn't work, man. That is mad. Bro. I just set him up for this stuff. It's man. true. This bro. guy, whenever he talks well, about he said like an Arab TV show. Pogba, Van Dyke, the weekend just starts playing in his. Check it out, Sharky. <laughs> chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. This guy has uh, lost his whole mind. But listen, Lampard came in at fourth. Yeah. Next up, this is our joint third. If I don't hear a certain name, I'm going to lose it, bro. No, he's going to lose here. it. He's here. He's here. Is your head going to be on Mars if you don't <laughs> hear this? It's going to be on Mars? Jupiter. <laughs> <laughs> on Jupiter. Yeah, That's name. far away. <laughs> he's, he's, his name's here. Joint third. We're going to go with the, the first one. Here he is. Paul Scholes. No. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> 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 And second, say Steven Gerrard, I'll walk out of this room. No, it's Harry Kane. Harry Kane. Oh my God, man. <laughs> oh my God. How what the hell so is That's our joint first. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I know you're surprised that Harry Kane because you had Harry Kane at second. Really? Yeah. Who had Harry Kane at second? You had Harry Kane. Oh, we don't have similar lists whatsoever. We're not the same, man. Wait, 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 what? I'm Harry Kane so is first. So that, that means, hold on. So that means Steven Gerrard finished second. As he should. What? As he should. My guy. I That's why I like him. Like like listen, listen, listen. listen. <laughs> I have schools. Well, hold on, let's talk about who has about Kane first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, talk yeah. about Kane. Let's, okay, let's, we have to dissect them individually. Let's start with Kane, okay? <laughs> let's talk about Kane first. So Kane, I, I had him at third, Faisal had him at second, you had him at fourth. Leah's actually had Kane in seventh. 
Yeah. No, you are, six. You are. Yeah, I had him below Rio. I had him below JT. You I had are, him. Uh, you are. Double check if you like. You are a On second thought, I had him at seventh. Yeah, on second thought, I'd probably put him above Rio. I'd probably put him above Rio. The one that killed him the most, D Ban had him at 10th. D Ban had who at 10th? Kane. Kane, Kane should not be above Lampard. He should not Kane be above Jared. He shouldn't be above Scores. He shouldn't be above Rooney. He shouldn't be above John Terry. And the two highest were Chunks Hammond at first, Fu had had him at first. No, no, no. First. The first. They had who first? First Harry is Kane. egregious. Yeah. What? <laughs> who, 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 who had him at first? Every person Chunks? on this list should have, should have Chunks. 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 Yeah. Yeah. We need to stop letting Chunks, Chunks do this. Fu had I understand. I call that, yeah. I call we shouldn't Chunks. understand. Chunks we shouldn't shoot, understand. Chunks to the shoot with Harry Kane, so I understand that one as well. Oh, stop it, man. Like, stop making it. Chunks has done a shoot with every person on this list, bro. I'm just saying that. Well, this guy, man. I've got Harry Kane second, but having him first is disgusting. It's nuts. It's disgusting. But having him first is disgusting. Yes, but having him first. No, but I'm saying first and second, but what's the gap? Yeah, no, whoa, 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 whoa. First, gap, everybody on the list is egregious. The gap between first and second is, is massive. Insane. It's yeah. insane, it's insane massive. bro. But first is the best British him, player of all time. Oh, 100%. Yeah. But having him seventh oh, is uh, disgusting. First. It's disgusting. Very bad. 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 Shame on you. The highest I'd have him is six. The highest I'd have him is six. Okay, can we talk about the fact that Paul Scholes is this low? All right, let's get. No, to let's talk about Kane first. I want to talk about Kane. Let's talk about no, Kane. No, 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 it's not Kane. Kane first. It's, it's no, it's scores and then Kane. It's just no, it's the same. It's the same. How can Kane so be above scores? So Hold on. Well, this is this is. I go back and forth about this a lot, to be honest with you. Gerard, let's bro. <laughs> let's be real. No, I don't think no, it's. Not. I don't think it's clear. He no, he's not. He is. He's not. You you can agree that he's because he's, he's second. Wait, wait, wait. Who is Gerard? Second, right? Yeah. I, no, no, no. I had Gerard. No, we're not. We're not going to get into it. Yeah, he might not have been the list, bro. We're gonna know. No, hold on. Let me. Let me. Let me be honest. Oh, no, no, no. Let's talk about. Let, let, let's, let's talk about Harry Kane. Let's talk about okay, Harry Kane. Okay. What are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> right, we we keep, keep, keep jumping. Jump, we keep jumping. Can we let the host host? Yeah, yeah. yeah we keep okay. jumping. We keep jumping. Okay. Let's. Let, okay. Let's do Kane. We'll come to. We'll come to the Gerard thing later because we haven't touched upon Kane too much. So you're saying Kane? Kane for you was second. Kane first. Kane for you was second. 100%. Why is he in your, t- why is he top two? Because uh, I had him at third. Like I said, Leah's had him at seventh, he had him at fourth. Okay, I think- So why is he top two for you? I think with Harry Kane, yeah, this is where unfortunately it plays into a part. This is just where, I, I, he's a miskeen for me. Cause the thing ah, is, yeah. Like Drake, Drake's Drake tattoo, he's, he's a miskeen for me. Cause the thing <laughs> is, yeah. It's crazy. One little Calling final, Harry Kane in the skin is crazy. One, no, 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 just, no, not miskeen. Do you know what miskeen means? Yes, bro, like poor. <laughs> Yeah, not like poor like that. No, 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 can't mean that. Like, oh, oh, poor Harry Kane. Yeah. Yeah. I, saw, I saw that Google definition. People say poor. No, 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 no it's not like financially that. poor, yeah, but yeah, like, poor guy. No, yeah, yeah, he's a No, no, he's a No, no, he's a miskin. The reason why he's a miskin is that certain games, if it went into his favor, we will be talking about Harry Kane as a complete. If my grandmother had a wig, she would have been a bag. What the hell is what the boy is the point that you're making, bro? If certain people. Brother, the timeline, we can't yeah. adapt it, brother. We can't but, change but it. Let's about talk about what we know about Kane. For some players, you, you value accolades a lot. Uh-huh. But then when it came to Harry Kane, the, uh, the guy on this list that you. doesn't have any accolades, you're willing to move the goalposts for him. That's the only reason. When I agree with you, by the way. I think he should be top two. List. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. When, when did I value uh, accolades in, in this list, though? No, no, not in this list, but I'm saying in other, in, in, you know, you're not, <laughs> not looking it's consistent. It's not looking consistent. No, 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 I've never, certain I've never, no, 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 no. Let's, with Gerard, there was a one point, at one point, remember the hot takes? I've got Gerard. Do you remember the hot takes we had? Modric, okay. Remember the hot takes we had a while back? It was about Modric and Gerard. Mm-hmm. And then you said what you value, uh, Modric is ahead of Gerard because you value was accolades, value to the team. And what was the other one? I'm kidding with his own takes. Fuck that, keep going. And what was the third one? I Anyways, said, the way, no, no. Yeah. Okay, no, okay, no, 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 no. And he said, Modric yeah, takes hold on, one, hold on. two, Let him go. Three. I don't want you to be the scar. I don't want you to get <laughs> right, out like yeah, last yeah, time. Please, please, yeah. Take the stage. Do you remember yeah. this hot take? Yeah, yeah I do remember. Steve, t- let him take the stage. Yeah, go I, I do remember that hot take. And that hot take is very different to what I'm going to say about Harry Kane. <laughs> I see... I see what you mean. Don't give me I, I see what you're trying to say. Yeah, you've got Gerard and Lampard, Gerard and Modric you're trying to compare them in terms of impact and the accolades. Yes, I've got Gerard third. Gerard... But you're comparing Gerard to a Luka Modric who's achieved what he's achieved. Yes, that is a f- complete different situation. One with second, Harry Kane- One second, with, one second. Well, Let me, can I interrupt you real quickly? Okay, if you're comparing Kane happen. to Gerard, fairs. There is guys on this list mm. that have won That's infinitely more. You're talking about guys that no. have won 11 Premier League trophies. You have guys who have sat next to Ronaldinho on Ballon d'Ors and won Premier League trophies. I did not who say have that. scored over 200 goals as well. The, the comparison was between Modric and Gerard. Right. That's, but that's but where this, the comparison this, com- this list is a the comparison of Harry Kane with the park whole Gerard, list. Bro. Park the Gerard reason Gerard. why I've got Harry Kane where I've got him a second, in terms of why, listen, let's be real here. Goal scoring ability, 
He's number one. That's one. Okay, that's number one. Yeah. In terms of uh, the reason why I've got him, goal scoring ability. Alan Shearer is on this list. Huh? No. Goal scoring let, ability. let him win. Let him win. Let him win. Uh, can, can I just finish? Okay. Yeah. Can I just finish? Goal scoring ability. He is for me by far number one. Okay. In terms of, I just find it funny. Oh, he's. I just find it funny that certain man are not giving him the benefit of the doubt. Because now, if he goes Bayern, if he wins the Champions League, if he wins the Ballon d'Or, where do you man have him in your list? Uh, higher, Everything higher, you just said is higher, of course. Higher. But, but talking they're, they're, we're talking they're, today. They're this on is the second if time spot. They don't like the if spot. I don't I, like I agree that with if spot. The if why I agree why with is careers only determined by ifs, ifs? You, we, no, but you're just doing the ifs. I know, but we should play, We should give credit to what he's got right now. We have to be being on this list is enough credit. Brother. That's him not making enough, a though. Top ten without any accolades is enough of a credit, bro. That's enough. Okay, so that he's is, making okay, it, bro. Okay. He's in my top four. Okay, where do you have okay. him? Where do you have him? I had him seven, but I should have had a higher. No, I should no, have had a higher. He's, he's, he's in one, people's top ten. Okay. He's in people's top ten without any major accolades. And these guys have got Champions Leagues on Champions Leagues, Premier Leagues on it's Premier Leagues. It's not even just that, right? It's their big games as well, too, That means accolades important to you. It's accurate, it's important it be, yeah. Of course, okay, it, it plays okay. a part. It plays a part. A it's not the be all and end all. Okay, okay. it's not the be okay. all and end all. Okay, cool. Why is, okay, that means, let me throw out names and let me see why the accolades is not used as a little stigma on their career. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay? <sighs> Gigi Buffon never won a Champions League. Gigi Buffon has a World Cup okay, and numerous Let me titles. say. Let, uh, hey, okay, but Baba, right off the bat. Right no, don't. Listen, 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 no, 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 listen, no, no, no. You, no, just, no. you just exposed your point right no, there. Because, no, Kane has no trophies. Buffon has a Gigi lot of them. Gigi Buffon, no, no. Uh, let me put Gigi Buffon alongside the names that he's being compared to. Who is he being compared to? Kit Cassius. Uh, and Noyo. Hold on. Noyo, dead man. Hold on. But, but hold, hold, on. on. hold on. Hold on. I, for hold me, on. for me, that's Gigi the is there. The worst comparison R9. Ever. R9. Where is he? Has R9. I reckon, I reckon oh you're digressing. No and Champions I want you League. to go this back to the point. Harry Kane. Kane. I want you to go back uh, to the this point. Guy why, why is Harry Kane the second best English player in the last 23 years? Explain that to me. And why is he above the likes, in your opinion, of Paul Scholes, Lampard, Gerrard, and these players? Why is he above those people? So, in terms of overall ability, what is that? Ability? Him, but can I, can I him, just, can him, I just let say? Him, let him. <laughs> Overall ability as a striker, in terms of the finishing, in terms of everything there is to, to the game, in terms of, bro. Everything, you what do you man, mean by everything there is to you, the game? You, man, are just deciding that over one trophy, fam. No, Let's no, say, no, okay, no, okay, no, okay, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? For all trophies can, to aside. Can I ask you a question? Before you ask okay, me a question. Uh, no, let me ask you a question now. Okay, let me ask you a question. Okay, let's just have a very sensible conversation. I'd love between. Me and you. Uh, two adults. Uh, three and four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Four adults. Let's say Harry Kane won uh, the Champions League in 2009 against Liverpool. Yes. Okay. That's one. Okay. Let's say he won the Euros where he ma famously missed that little thing. Chant. Let's say he won it. Mm -hmm. Where would you have Harry Kane in your list? It's a valid question if this was a hypothetical list. The list is clear Can and I'll explain it to you. No, once again. Okay. The list is clear and I'll explain it to you again. Hasib asked you, who are the top 10 players English players of the last 23 years. Mm -hmm. And I've asked you for the second time again, I've not got an answer. Why is Harry Kane second on that list? Can you answer my question? Though? I'll just ask you a question. But do you see how your question- I don't care, do you, I don't, no, no I don't care if, you, if you're about to do some imagination nonsense. No problem imagination. Just answer my I'm question, where would you if, have on your list? If, if he had other accolades, uh -huh. he potentially would be higher on my list. So now you're letting my trophy, so you, No, no, so no, you're no but you told me to answer your question, so now do me the same courtesy. Okay. Why is Harry Kane the second best player in the last 23 years as English? So you're letting Trophy... Did the no, 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 no. So you let answered trophy. your question. So you're letting he would be higher Faisal, on my Faisal, list you're having a if you had my accolades. So you're letting Trophy... No, you, you don't get a follow-up question. Answer <laughs> my question. Why is he the second best player in the last so 23 years? So he's letting Trophy determine where he's ranking players. Hold on, hold on. Can I say something? Let's talk about Van Dijk Can I say something? Can I say something though? Can I say something though? No, really quickly, really quickly. Really quickly, okay? When we analyze players, you look at different things. It's kind of like I was saying earlier. You take goals and assists into account. Yeah. I will never look at a player and say, oh, GA doesn't matter. Yeah. It, it comes into effect. Especially attack. You yeah. look at the accolades that they've won yeah. for their team. And the it comes into effect. Uh -huh. No matter what, it comes into effect. You look at the accolades they've won individually. Mm -hmm. It comes into effect. Mm -hmm. You look at their individual performances. It comes into effect. You look at, my favorite word, their body of work. It mm -hmm. comes into effect. You look at them, their, their, their qualities. All of this stuff, there's little subsections, yes. bro. So to say, oh, you let trophies come into account. Of course you do, bro. That's a, a part of a everything player's legacy, bro. Into. Now it's not everything. Now Gary Neville has 13 Premier League titles. I'm not going to say now he's better than, he's I don't know. Uh, Cafu, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but that's something that puts him in. 
Rakeen's, oh yeah, I forgot about Rakeen. He's not English, so yeah, he's not no, 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 if I ask you that, why does he rank in your list higher than Frank Lampard, for example, who I just said I'm not a huge fan of, okay. but why? when you I'll talk about GAs and goal scoring okay. ability and what Frank Lampard has on top of that, which is trophies, okay. big game moments, okay. why is Harry Kane above Frank Lampard for you? The thing is, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give you an answer. I'm very biased when it comes to stuff like that. I'll, I'll, I'll say mm. why. My top 10 players of all time, forget nothing, I've got uh, Ronaldo, Messi, uh, Neymar, Suarez. Let's be real, Modric should be over Neymar. Sergio Ramos should be of a name on Suarez. I'm just very, for me, you look attackers, at who's the best player. For me, okay. attackers are more preferred into the way I judge. But it's bias. Is it's Harry Kane a better footballer than Steven Gerrard? No, no, I'm not. Uh, so you said you put. No, but he's saying he values attackers over. I, I value attackers. That's why if, if if we if we did the body, it's his body of work, and if we did <laughs> if we did ability, if we did everything else, then Ramos and and that means Neymar should be. Neymar should be lower because in terms of accolades, he's not, he's not one what Luka Madrid is one. He's not one what Ramos is one. He's not one what Iniesta and Chabi is one. Okay. But I like to, I'm just biased towards attackers. It's that simple. That's so what then I'm, Harry Kane is in your list because you like attackers more than other positions. Just say that then, bro. Yes. But that's not what you're saying. You're trying to talk about, oh, this trophies matter. Trophies do matter, bro. Whether but you like I just, it or not, I just, but I'm just So you should have just started by line. saying but that I'm just, I have a bias towards attackers, In my bro. opinion, in my he opinion. He was buying time to find an answer. That's crazy. That's exactly in my opinion, if he won those trophies. If, 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 we're, if we're making yeah. an all-time list, bro, and yeah. we're ranking players, Harry Kane does not rank higher all-time than the players that we're talking about. No, That's what it comes down that. to for he me, doesn't. bro. And yes, winning Gerard, big trophies will fun. help his overall ranking. Fact. So listen, what's your final point on About Harry Kane, Kane yeah. They said, of course, they mentioned Lampard, Scholes, and Fink, yeah. Harry Kane is, how many goes away from, from Cheryl? Like 30 or 35, something like 40, that? 40, I think. Something yeah. like that uh, from <clears throat> In terms of assist, he is literally where he's in assist, uh, very close to 100. I think he's one of the only players which is um, close to 100, 100, 100 in both, both categories. I think Lampard did it too. Uh, Lampard yeah. did it, and then he's, he's the closest. another one. Well, Same, however, 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 he's the closest attacker to do it, which is. Which is which Lampard's is, the second striker to me, I'm telling you, bro. Oh, for fuck's <laughs> <laughs> He is, bro. <laughs> Every time. Oh, His that TikTok guy. keeps getting interrupted. <laughs> Your TikTok. That's his Lampard attacking things. <laughs> he's an attacker. He's, he's just, he just me off. He attacking midfielder. He's just jars me. However, he's a CAM. Cool. A we've CAM. got, we've got, <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've got now Steven Gerrard. Yes. Yeah? Loves it. Steven Gerrard in his, uh, actually. We don't have Steven Gerrard yet. We yeah, don't know wait, if he's on the list. We, Steven <laughs> we don't, have, we don't okay, know if he's on the list. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. But listen, the other player that obviously came third was Paul Scott's. And you two reacted very suddenly, which is interesting because Lee has actually had Gerrard in second. But it scores in third. Abs had poor scores at first. Wow. Who's the best English player to ever kick a football? I ever it, yeah. kick okay, go a ahead. football, bro. And the reason why I believe that. And Star Player uh, had him at second, so he's the second. Do you know what? This is why I actually love Abdullah Star Player. <laughs> this is <laughs> why he's I, my cook, boy. Cook, cook, cook. Now make that your TikTok. Cook. Yeah. <laughs> look at this guy. Look at this guy. This, TikTok's this generated back there. <laughs> <laughs> when we talk about poor scores, we talk about a class of midfielder that we don't get to see very often. This is a legion of, 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 of midfielder that there's only certain players that can touch it. We're mm. talking about the Chavis and the Iniesta's of the world, the Pirlo's, these players that make football look like it's a different sport. And then not just that controlling of the game, that IQ, that understanding where everyone's position is on a football pitch, the direct and pace of his passing and switching and moving defences around just from deep players. He's a quarterback in the middle of the park. He's just quickly changing points of attack. Ball coming back to him. Has, an, has, has a great strike on him as well. Genius. We talk about the goal scoring of Lampard and his ability to do that. And Lias mentioned this earlier. You take away penalties, non-penalty goals per 90. We, in that debate that we have, scores Jared Lampard, scores has the most. And that is when we talk about the, the, the uh, other than Platini, the greatest ever goal scoring midfielder. You take penalties away, goal scoring per 90, Paul scores is higher than Gerard and Lampard. He had that ability when he was a youngster coming into the team. They're playing with the likes of York in, um, in Cole in front of him. There as a number 10. Be, um, popping up with goals then matures his game and you think 
<laughs> where was this guy this whole time? Someone who could control games against the t- best of opposition in any stadium in the, on the planet, against any opposition. You can't put a player on him because that player will just get lost trying to follow him for the, for the whole game. A, a dictator of play, a composer of play, the likes of, Eng- the likes of which England doesn't have deserve as a country to have. He, he doesn't deserve to be English. Mm. That man should have been Spanish or Italian, if we're being very honest. He should have been from another country because this country, the way they abused him, and, and underused him. Mid. It's a joke. Yeah, Sven Goran Eriksson, you <laughs> bastard! <laughs> you what? You are his cousin! He's done it again! You're not done that, Sven! <laughs> that... The it's fact good, that he's done that. I love the pep interviews as well with... Forget about just that every single person... Play, uh, play your of favourite him. player... Yeah. Like, it's the, like, you always hear this. You hear this all the time. Of all time? Yep. Zidane was asked. Zidane was asked the question. Zidane was asked the question. Who's the best player in the Go ask Paul Scores. I hate that. This is... Pep Guardiola, the great... People keep pretending like these are fake quotes. These are not... These are not a joke, These are players that played against him, played with him, that watch him. Why is it done? Genuinely, if this brother... also said it too. Vieira, same thing. They've all said it. The fact that this brother's from Oldham and not La Masia is the only reason that you're hating on this yeah. brother. That's the reality, brother. Yeah. He is someone who's who's who shouldn't literally be an English player. Chev- like genuinely, Chevin and Yester were, were chasing after him. Champions League final. Brother, this is. <laughs> We're talking Backed. about an, we're Backed. talking about the highest like caliber of midfielder, well. and that is why for me, Paul Scholes is the greatest English player to ever live. That's actually uh, that's that was, no. That's one very of eloquent. that is one of the best Thank soliloquies you. that has ever been said on SDS. I'm serious. Sure, like sure, in terms sure. of just sure. sitting down and talking to the camera and mm-hmm. talking about a player, that's Beautiful. top three. Yeah, that that was unbelievable. Abs, I abs, I'm yeah. honestly that was, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. That, 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 that is that's analysis right there. I'm happy. I'm yeah. happy. No one this is why why as well. I'm yeah. happy you're on the table. Nah, Thank that's that's so that's. I'm being so serious. That's real what life that analysis. That was beautiful. That's but beautiful. that was my heart. Oh look, here's the thing, right? I don't disagree with it. You can't disagree with anything you've said. What you just said is facts. And Paul Scholes growing up was my favorite player on Man United. Like. Okay, Ronaldo is everyone's favorite player. Yeah, because of course, like you, as of a course. kid, you see the skills. Yeah, you see yeah the, of course. Everyone wants to be Ronaldo. But me, I'm not the biggest. I'm not the fastest. I see a midfielder that he's short. He's, he's, he doesn't like run. Like, again, yeah. he's not the most physically yeah. imposing. Yeah. But his footballing brain and his talent is just otherworldly. Like It's unlike anything you see in England. Mm. Now, okay, you look at Barca and Real and you appear a little different. But in England, you don't see a player like that. So me personally, I love Paul Scholes and I completely agree with everything you said. And I go back and forth between him and Gerard yeah. all the time yeah. because, and I don't know if you want to get into Gerard right now. I guess we might as well because he's what, second on this list? Potentially. I, I'm, ge- I'm guessing he is, right? Potentially. I'll, 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 I'll just say like, as much as I love schools, there's something about Gerard and the way that- I he, love Gerard. I mean, I mean, I mean you might as well just say it. Yeah, is he, he is second. Yeah, we, right? can, we, can, we can get into this. Yeah. So. I'll start off first. I'll start off first and I'll get to second. So in first place is Wayne Rooney. Has of to our be. SDS combined top 10 English players in, since 2000. If you don't say his name, then 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 it's end the video, man. Jonathan Woodgate. <laughs> <laughs> Madrid legend. <laughs> Madrid legend. Actually, I won't take his moment away. In first place, he deserves the respect. Wayne Rooney. What's up? And second place is Steven Gerrard. Right. So go, go to your point about so Steven So as, as much as I love Paul Scholes, there's just something about the way Steven yes. Gerrard played yes. football. The yes. way he's able to just take games over. I'm a Man United fan. So as a United fan, I hate what he represents. He is Liverpool Football Club. Mm. But as a player... I love Steven Gerrard, honestly. Yeah, he's unbelievable. He's so complete as a midfielder. And he I, was a dancer at one point that uh, you yeah, don't, yeah, you don't yeah, like that's You talk about how yeah. players talk about the guy in training, for example, you can't get near him because mm. he's complete in terms of like the athleticism. The guy was a freak animal, like a freak yeah. of an athlete. Fast, strong, couldn't knock the ball off him. Technically very, very good. Long shots for days. Like I said, he even had a period where he played right behind Torres and he was still scoring yeah, goals. Amazing. You talk about leadership as well. He was Liverpool Football Club. He could have gone to any club on the planet and he almost Mar- did a few Mourinho times. Was Mourinho wanted from him Mourinho. at Chelsea, Inter, and Real Madrid. Mm, Man United, I think Sir Alex wanted him yeah, at one 100%. point too. And he would have walked, into, Wenger wanted he, him. Everyone wanted he would have walked into any of those teams because the guy was just as complete a player mm. as you could get. And no, he isn't as gifted as Paul Scholes. Paul Scholes is for me the most, probably the most technically gifted player this country's ever produced. Yeah. But I just look at this guy's ability to kind of like take over a game. His team is just in the mud. Liverpool had some awful, awful teams around Gerrard. Mm. And he has this innate ability to just grab games by the scruff of the neck, say, get the hell out of the way. Give me the ball at my feet. Let me do I'm it. going to just do it by myself. Yeah. As a football fan, 
Sometimes that's just something I want to see from a player. No, course, course. The same reason I love Hazard so much, like yeah, he yeah. has that ability too. Jared just has this ability to say, get the hell out of my way. I'm taking the ball. I'm, t- I'm shooting from 40 I'm yards out. It, I'm running past five players. I'm putting an unbelievable ball. I think he's unbelievable. Bro, bro. bro Gerard was doing KDB numbers before. KD, KDB numbers. With, 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 with yeah, KDB yeah, 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 that's true. The, 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 the he outscored th- Torres in the 08 or 09 season. I think bro, it was. Oh, that 20, was the season that they tried to score 17 goals, I think. 17 yeah, goals. Crazy. That was his one season. He had two, over 20 assists, bro. He was doing bro, KDB he, before KDB. 100%. Now people praising KDB for doing, bro. Mm. And he did it in a much worse team. Worst, worst, worst system. That Liverpool bro. team should have never been challenging for titles. Never, never. But the fact that he was in that team is the reason they were challenging. And that's and why, that's why I always say about, sorry, and th- that's why I say always about Steven Gerrard is if you put him where Lampard was put, if you put him where Scores was put. He could do any job. He, you can, the, the accolades which they won, he could have done that. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, 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 what you asked them, Lampard to do, he could do that, bro. And that's why- Unfortunately, his loyalty was his downfall. The loyalty, I hate yeah. when people dis, just, just discredit that, bro. Mm-hmm. Totti got it. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think Del Piero, when it, when it only stayed at you, yeah. it got it. And now and, and now Steven Gerrard did it, bro. Steven Gerrard could have, bro, Chelsea twice. Real Madrid, bro. bro. He said no to Madrid. He said yeah. no, he said no, no to, to Real Madrid. Madrid. He said no to Inter with Mourinho there. Inter, yeah. Because why? A scouser. Oh, no, yeah. a scouser. Oh, no, 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 the guy is a nasty bastard, man. In terms yeah. of the way he plays, bro, like the guy is typical British. In terms of like yeah, how exactly British people say. don't appreciate yeah. school, this guy is the embodiment of a British this midfielder. Guy, that's bro. exactly yeah. like, cause you know how I was just saying about full scores, it shouldn't be English. Yeah. The atypical- Gerard's passport. Pa, 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 pa. The best idea of one English midfielder should be in his every attribute taken to his top is what Steve And yeah. I, bro, I just like the way, the long, Gerard, like, yeah. bro, yeah. this is unbelievable. And then the, freak, the Champions Ignites too. I think that's the way to cap it off, right? Bro, he is he is one of the best Best Champions League performers I've seen. Okay, we're gonna talk about Istanbul because that's his crowning moment, right? Like that's mm. what stops him. Has anyone him. ever had a better moment in a European final than that standalone? It's, it's, I can't lie. It I goes can't, up there with a lot I, of. I, I can't lie. I, uh, Drogba for me, what he did. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Drogba for me, yeah. I would put Drogba. What just because it's. That him running with that trophy. I know, bro, yeah. but, Ge- but Gerard, bro, three, the three, three nil, nil down. down. Three yeah. nil down, uh, and it ch- they're down and out. Really and done. Some nothing ball in the box. Gerard yeah. nods it yeah, in. It's mad, it's mad. It's going mad. like yeah. this, yeah. and then, and then yeah. what's his name? Uh, the, 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 the commentator, Clive Tulsi. Yeah. Hold on now, hold on. They couldn't go. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, and bro, <laughs> he, he, just, he, he physically and mentally bro, just dragged him. Bro, he played like four different positions on the night. He's yeah, playing right bro, back right, at the end of the yeah, position. Yeah, yeah, he, that's the definition of dragging your team across the finish line. And he did it so many times across. Again, I love Paul Scholes, man. And you ask me tomorrow, I might say Paul Scholes. But Gerard, man. As much he was as special. I hate, I hate who he is. I love Steven Gerrard. So you know, he said it, Papa British, yeah? <laughs> the best member of Gerrard when he came on got sent out straight away. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Proper and British. And the Herrera. And the Herrera. Gerrard has some howlers, too. That, that's what you the call slip, the slip. The but slip. Bro, the, uh, he, he has like Herrera two where like he literally like passed it back so to his goalkeeper. Oh, he got him one time. Drogba got him one time. But that's. He had a bozo moment every now and again. But it's very rare he had a bozo moment. That's what you call Poor bridge comes on straight away. One matter first, it's like, hey, yeah, that's a good challenge. Yeah, yeah. He took out Herrera. <laughs> 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 like, oh, no, <laughs> yeah. well, you're right, proper British, but at the same yeah, time, he had that technical ability. Amazingly, in his man. Game. We had Henrik McKendy on the podcast, who was a Liverpool youth player, and he said, Training with Gerard. They all say he's the best. Free he's technically. The best, bro. He said he took one ball, just flipped all the way yeah. to the way. I mean, obviously, you showed some disrespect recently on the TL with his uh, range of passing. No, that was funny, though, wasn't it? Because <laughs> it was as a cop, but it showed all yeah, of yeah. Paul Scholes <laughs> passing. <laughs> and it's perfect in someone's head. Scholes are more difficult. It's just Gerard just lobbing at someone's <laughs> nostrils. And, and, and Control that, son. I'm a bit like that. I'm freaking even Gerard. The thing, thing is about abs, yeah? It's Gerard! Oh, you did it! What a hit, son! What a hit! He's magical. He's magical. You know this guy, yeah? He, uh, he might be the biggest rattler on Twitter, you know? He is, he is. He's a troll, bro. He is, he is, he is the biggest troll. Give him tears, give him tears. He, yeah, he, he wakes up at 8 a.m. He's got Arsenal fans on his mind. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you know what? <laughs> Take this. Yeah, yeah, go yeah, two, yeah. Form, two more he, for him. He, he got two <laughs> more for him, <laughs> man. He pick and chooses which fan base to rattle. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He wakes up. Like, oh, I don't know. Hey, he, he has the Leers ball. Dude, I got a Leers ball, but mine is a team. Who <laughs> teams are the fans I'm going to rattle today? Oh, oh man. Man, these guys are bums, man. But like, Gerard, <laughs> special, man. Special talent, special. man. Special nah, talent. Nah, well just but listen, the winner, Rooney. Wayne Rooney, man. The best. 
<sighs> wait, wait, wait. So who hasn't got Waza first? I didn't have him first. Abs, ha- Abs had him at third. Yeah. Fuad had him at Gerard, second. Fuizzi had him at second. Oh, Hold on, say that again. Fuizzi, we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. <laughs> Fuizzi actually had Gerard at first. <laughs> I mean, wow, no, uh, so wow. Shock horror. What? <laughs> <laughs> Abs had, had him in at third. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Fuad had him in at second. Fuizzi had him in at second. And Chunks had him in at second. Other than that, everyone else had him at first. Yeah. He's yeah. first for me easily. Oh, wow. He actually I'm, had I'm, I'm, I'm 115. Got, like, midfielder, midfielder. He had 115 yeah. points, by the way. You see the bias? Attack bias. Yeah. Yeah. But you're not an attacker on the phone, bitch. Huh? <laughs> my, my, love, my love, my love for the game. Yeah. Yeah. Rooney is the most complete. Okay, the guy. Oh, sorry, sorry. Now, nah, Rooney, Rooney is just unbelievable. He had 115 honestly. points, by the way, and the, the second was 90 points. So he blitzed Gerard in this. Uh, he should have blitzed <laughs> everyone on this list, in my yeah, opinion. Man. I think he is the best player this country has ever produced. The guy speak on it, at 16 years old. Disrespect. Built like a 28 year old, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a grown ass <laughs> man and a 16 year old, bro. That makes sense, man. He came, he scored, and it was a debut against he was us. He at the ref. Oh, I love that one. I love the one where he swore at the referee. Then uh, I think uh, someone crossed that he just volleyed in. Never. <laughs> like, like, See how is. He was He's just, still he, he was shouting at the referee. You are not Boom! <laughs> and just slaps it in. Guy, the guy is tapped, bro. He's but, uh, honestly, you, you need uh, like, skinhead skin Rooney. I was just about to say. Uh, he was, he was he another had different phases. Bro. So every different time, phases, bro. bro. Every yeah, time. Every Street time. striker Rooney. Bro, the guy was unbelievable. Everything, bro. Ronaldo, Ronaldo leaves. And then he's been asked to do what Ronaldo does mm. and still manages to mm. win. Bro, incredible. And here's the thing too of Rooney, right? He, he could have done that his entire career. Yeah. Rooney could have been a 25 plus goal scorer. His, there's nothing season. stopping him. The yeah. two seasons that Fergie gave him the reins, uh, 09-10 and 11-12. Yeah. Mm. Rooney was our center forward. He scored over 30 goals in 11-12. He, he, he scored, I think, 28 or 27, 09-10. He missed like the last three games, the last three months of the season. <laughs> Unbelievable, because bro, he, he could play in midfield. He could play out on the on the wing. On the wing. He could play up front. He could play in the number ten. He's again one of those rare breeds of players that doesn't matter where he scores, whether he assists. What he could have no impact on the stat sheet and still be the best player yeah, on the pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy was unbelievable. Headers, unbelievable, unbelievably fast. By the way, there was a period where he had yes. the highest top speed in the Premier League. Mm. Strong as an ox. The overhead kicks, yeah. right foot, left foot, outside of the box, poaching. He had everything. He had bro. awesome. You know, and he sacrificed well. so much of his output, a bit like Drogba, yeah. but in his own right, to sacrifice for guys like uh, Ronaldo, Berbatov, Van Persie, Van yeah. Nistelrooy. And yet, he's Manchester United's top goal scorer ever. He was England's top goal scorer ever until Kane come in. He, he has over 200 goals in the Premier League. All for a guy that sacrificed parts of his game for large trades. <laughs> and for yeah. people who claim was washed at, what, 28, 29 years old. He's one of the few players... That can hand in a transfer request twice, uh, twice, twice, get rejected <laughs> both times, twice. two times, <laughs> two. <laughs> comes back and still like everyone still loves him. So like, you know what? Yeah, you can come back. Like, and and it wasn't about one of the transfer requests was to the neighbors as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the second time was to Chelsea. Yeah, was, yeah. <laughs> one neighbors, one of the biggest rivals at that He's time. Like, it's incredible. And they still make a comeback. Like, yeah, yeah, and and he came back. He came back the first time when he wanted to go to City. He came back. Scored like f- so many goals the second half of the season. Yeah. Led us to the Champions League final. Scored in the final yeah. against Barcelona. Everyone forgave him. Oh, he's, <laughs> yeah. And, and the thing, yeah. I mean, the, the reason the he wanted past. to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bygones be bygones. Yeah, it's all right, man. I didn't forget about that, man. <laughs> 2006, we did to Ronaldo as well. And then literally, the following season, they're boys again. They're <laughs> their boys their partnership is, is unbelievable. Under- Here's another thing. All four Euros. What is he, 18 years old <laughs> and in Euro 2004 and was like the best player at the tournament. Lights it out. And, and the thing about him as well is that uh, I've seen recently Harry Kane was doing an interview of, of making his best ever striker. Yeah, we know Harry Kane could have picked himself a link up play. Boy, he Rooney. picked, he picked yeah. Rooney. Mm. And that's not, and that's for no, that's not for nothing. You have, when he plays at that number nine position, brother, he, how many different style of footballs do you want to play? Brother, do you want to play pet football? Do you want to do jersey yeah, football? Do you want to do counter attack? Whatever yeah, you want Mourinho to do. Said that when he was like, would you, uh, Rooney's like being linked away from the Would you take him? He's like, I, I, just call would me. It, <laughs> <laughs> if Wayne Rooney ever was league, just call me, no oh, problem. Judge, he was playing centre as well, fam. He, was, he did it. Centre He was at eight he by that point. Eight. And he was doing the scores passes, the and, hundred and passes. By the way, him and Van Persie had an underrated yeah. partnership oh as well. Oh, he had a, he, that, he had that, a great that, partnership. That who, did, who didn't he have a good partnership? He had a great yeah. partnership with Tevez. Mm-hmm. He had a great partnership with Ronaldo, yeah. Van Nistelrooy, Luis Saha, Van Persie, Chicharito, Berbatov, Danny Welbeck. He's the glue. He's the ultimate teammate, bro. Everybody loves playing with Wayne Rooney because he's going to 
work his socks off to win you back the ball. He doesn't really care about scoring goals. He doesn't need a lot of touches of the ball. Yeah. He just wants to you win. You can't question he his commitment. Said, at the end he's of the like, game. bro, I didn't like playing up front. I didn't. I, I didn't like feel involved in it. Yeah, yeah. FOMO. <laughs> 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 but, but, but one thing I hate about him, and this is just one. Just, Ronaldo, just, I know. No, 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 not Ronaldo. No, no, no. This Haywan, yeah, scored arguably the greatest. Premier League goal in the history of and the, the celebration. And the Jew celebration. celebration. <laughs> he was Jewish before Jew. No, no. What the f was that celebration? <laughs> he was Jew. Like, and and and, 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 Jude, and huh? another one. He scored another great goal. The boxing goal. Oh, what a, what a celebration! Uh, There's context. Yeah. Peter Bosley. Him yeah. and Peter Bosley were boxing the night before. And I think that's the beauty. You of don't know the you don't know the context behind that celebration. He got knocked out. He got knocked out. So him him and Peter Bosley were boxing in 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 their house, and he got knocked out and went viral all over the news. So he scores to go in the next fixture. That's part of what he did. That's part of what makes him so great, by the way. Right? Again, like you look at Ronaldo, for example, ripped. Perfect hair, perfect. Mm. He's that supermodel. <laughs> really? And the also the way he plays too. Like, no one can be Ronaldo. You look at Wayne Rooney, bro. Bosh. He's stocky. His it's hairline like is dissipating. Yeah. He's got chubby cheeks. Yeah. He's Wayne Rooney. <laughs> Everything boxing with his friends. But you're right, in terms of, he doesn't care about all the other Listen, stuff. Bro. Give me a ball on the pitch yeah. and I'm doing that's it. Get Simple as that. I'm putting it in the net. That's that. what you call proper British. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he is proper. And, he, and that's something he's heritage. He's, he's one of the best big game players in oh, history. Yeah. Arsenal's reckoning. That's what he, I call him. I the amount of times he scored us, against man. Arsenal. I think he has the most goals in Manchester derbies ever. Yeah, big goals against Chelsea. Liverpool. Fact, no, Liverpool, Liverpool was probably the one team no, he didn't have yeah, the greatest I remember there was one. I remember there was one in the Europa League. Of course, no, we lost he the scored against them. No, but he stood, he his did. record compared to other teams wasn't as San good. San Siro. Yeah, yeah. against against Milan. Milan. But his, his stigma, Inter, Inter, sorry, but his stigma will always be his internet, uh, England World Cups, two thousand six. Yeah. Yeah. But that whole but but two thousand six and two thousand ten group stage. Come on, Faisal. Both those tournaments he came in severely injured. Two thousand six, he tore his metatarsal against Chelsea. It was a risk for him to even be at the tournament 2010 i think he like almost basically broke his ankle against bayern munich in february he should never have gone to that mm. tournament bro he missed the last three months of the season for united mm. and just injecting himself with painkillers and in 2014 he also had another injury against yeah. bayern munich yeah. so yeah. every world cup that mm. he went to 2008 euros they didn't into. even qualify yeah. 2012 he missed the first two games with suspension so his international record also has a lot of context behind mm. it that people don't talk about I, I, I love did his brother to be yeah. my lawyer. Yeah. If I ever go nah. down, Lias is my bro, lawyer. If I want to I got you. If I need but this someone, but this is what I'm saying. <laughs> this is why it kills me, right? People who <laughs> love saying his statements. And if I want someone to call I, someone a Hewan, I got him. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> people who love saying, so oh, Lias is a fake United fan. <laughs> bro, I, for the the you United place, legends, bro, I'll go to war for the United Which is the ones right now? They're shit. Facts, bro. Wiser, man. Wayne Rooney, man. Would you have taken that Real Madrid in the years? What years would you have taken it? All day. It was 100%. It was 100%. 100 million percent, bro. Rooney really at his best when Benzema was kind of struggling in Higuain. You had that Rooney with Ronaldo oh and Di Maria. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, it was mad though. Rooney with Messi and uh, Pedro on either side. So oh. Oh, it was oh. mad. <laughs> nah, it's hey. mad. Like, I'm thinking he was Saka Martinelli. Oh. Shut the hell up. <laughs> That's a hell of a front three. That's a hell of a front three. <laughs> Why the hell are they naming it after Pedro and all these legends? <laughs> <Right. Shush. Okay. laughs> you know it's mad? I'm, I'm thinking about when he went, if he would have went to Chelsea, yeah, it would be his... Rooney, Drogba, and thing. Oh. Lampard. Wow. Rooney is the, I'm telling and Rooney and Drogba would have sacrificed even more for Lampard. <laughs> so be like, yeah, go do your thing, man. Honestly. Yeah, man. He would have records. He wouldn't be celebrating at Halland. Halland. He'll be Frank right Lampard. Because he got two guys that sacrificed it for him. It's true. It's true. Rooney and Drogba. What, what team? What team? <laughs> what team? What team? Sadio Salah Rooney. Yeah, he's <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Crazy. He's he like Firmino on, anyway. Firmino on crack, bro. Basically. <laughs> yeah. That would oh. be insane. I bail Firmino Ronaldo Rooney. Can get you 30 goals. Uh, um, imagine. Benzema, Benzema, Benzema. Carry him, carry him, carry him. No, carry him. Imagine, imagine. Benzema, there's parallels actually goals. between the Firmino, Firmino getting 30 goals. Huh? Yeah, imagine yeah. 30 video of 30 goals. There you go. How you got 30 goals? Literally. Not just the. Yeah. Also, nah, I'm so I'm so happy though. Rooney's getting his flowers. I'm as he should, it. as he should. He's so. on. Oh, but listen, that was our top man. ten uh, combined list of uh, English players got since 2000. Let me go for it. Huh? Got there in the end. Got there in the end. And it's been a long <laughs> night. <laughs> that wasn't English. <laughs> what? <laughs> what you said at the end. That was. You no, know it is. When I sit next to, I'm not going to name the person. Oh, exactly. right. He's gonna what, is it, what is it? Rhyme with? What is it? Rhyme with? What is it? Rhyme with? Basil. Nasal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nasal. Nasal Hazard. And he's got a big nose. <laughs> 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 you can't laugh too much. 
I can't watch too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you can. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? I'm, sorry. I'm gonna do the Leers. I'm gonna get that cap. Yeah, I'm gonna. There ain't no damn way. Get Leers. Listen, I combined top ten. Let me go through them again. In tenth place, we had Shira. Ninth, we had Kyle Walker. Eighth, we had Raheem Sterling. Seventh, we had Ashley Cole. In joint sixth, we had Beckham and Ferdinand. Fifth, we had John. Why you laugh? Fifth, we had John Terry. Fourth, we had Lampard. Joint third, we had Skulls and Kane. Second, we had Gerard. And first, we had Wayne Rooney. I'm actually not mad at that. I think that's yeah, it. Overall, overall. overall. I feel like the overall. We've, had, wor- we've had worse ones on this the Yeah, overall. For sure. <laughs> oh my God. When AV was involved. <sighs> Um, yeah. like, but, he would have yeah. for sure. Oh, yeah, 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 he would have been second. Yeah, yeah. Bro, ben White, ben White at 10, bro. <laughs> the second star, that's the thing, the best impression of AVO I've had in my life. Why does he sound like a mouse, though, bro? <laughs> he does, that's what he sounds like. <laughs> that's exactly how he sounds, but listen, I love AV. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please uh, leave in the comments below. What's your top 10 of English players since 2000? And let us know if we should do other international teams. Brazil, Spain, um, Espana, or, or, or. France. Because I call that. Like France. There's some uncomfortable I conversations. I call that. Like your guys request. There's listen. an Algerian brother. Hey, 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 guys, guys, guys. The ones that stay to the end, what? How long is the video? Uh, now we're coming. Like one hour, 50 minutes. Oh, cool. 15. 50. 50. I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah, I've been there for a damn you, minute. Right, for you guys <laughs> that stay <laughs> that long, that, that, that 5% watchers, please, please just say, France next. Just say France next. I have to be for France, know. right? I, France next. No because yeah, yeah. I can't lie, yeah? For France, I swear to God. Is that uncomfortable? Is that one comfortable conversation? There is so many uncomfortable, uncomfortable conversations, conversations for France. <laughs> Specific. Kareem. No, no, no. Versus. Titi. Thierry. Comment down below if you guys want to see that. Comment down below if you guys want to see that. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Le Bell.